Oh, hey. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to TPK's Ro TPK Roleplay's Happy New Year stream Maru thing. Shenanigans. That that's where we're going with that. Um <laughs> because that's what we do. That's just what we do. All right. <laughs> Choices have been made. Um my name's Dat Magic Juice. I am a shepherd and this is my clouder. Um uh, Zoom muted. Players are muted. Oh no. Oh no. Uh Wait, Zoom is muted, so you guys can still hear me. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay, okay. I stick by my comment about the clouder. It's the word of the day. A clouder is oh, a group goodness. of cats. Yeah. There oh. they are. Yep. That's accurate. This is accurate. <laughs> I feel seen. Leave, leave it to the per <laughs> leave it to the perspective as students. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. You you can hear the players now, right? There yeah, we go. Hello, okay. Hello. Nito. I'm just gonna hello. come right hello. into the mic right here. <laughs> yeah, get, get in there. <laughs> um, an ASMR stream. Yeah, something uh, like yes, that. Yes, everybody. No, oh, welcome God. to Don't Yeah. All right. Do it, do Before it. we even get into that, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, we're so gonna do. Feral. We're gonna be uh, a little bit shorter than normal tonight um, because of New Year's things. So I'm gonna dive right into a recap, and we're actually gonna do. Um, introductions a little bit differently than normal because we're at a pretty significant juncture in the in the early part of this campaign. So, last time uh, we opened up with our party interrogating slash sitting on a couple of uh, cultists that were separated from the the main raiding party that had attacked Greenest. Um, the party's looking for information. At the request of uh, Sergeant Mark Guth and Governor Nighthill, uh, they're looking for information about why uh, increased dragon cult raid activity is happening around uh, this area of the Sword Coast, um, how these groups, especially the one attacking Greenest, are so large and organized, and, uh, you know, related information to that. So... Um, upon interrogating these two, we learned that the raid on Greenest was to gather valuables and treasure. Um, that a half-elf monk named Leosin is being held at the quote-unquote main camp. Um, and that the main party is camped not far ahead of the location that this group encountered, this small group of cultists, uh, just a couple miles away. Um, we also learned that the Eventually, the main party uh, intends to leave tomorrow. Um, heading that direction, our party finds the actual rear guard. And um, this is a small encampment separated from the main group. And using Puff the Owl, whose name is not actually Puff. Oh, I, I think it may I, or may not be Schrodinger. We're not sure. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get Smart it. Smart jokes. <laughs> Wait, did you, not, did you not get it last time? <laughs> I, I don't remember you saying that before. Um, yeah. I'm going to use that defense. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so using Puff the Owl, whose name is not Puff, um, yep. LSA was able to see uh, a few particularly garbed people. Um the more more intense robes, um, clearly folks with this group that are a little bit more capable than just your standard kobolds and um, early on cultists that were in the other group. So, uh, you she he he she, what is Puff? Ah, uh, okay. He? Puff is also able to see that there is one other person um, donning an ornate scaly purple armor. Oh yeah, purple guy. Purple guy. Yeah. We're supposed to kill him. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, well, the magic well, item will you, kill him. You've yes. determined that you would we like are. to kill them, but we'll get to that. Um, Icarus goes a little bit ahead of the party and infiltrates, and this was rather impressive roguelike, not rogue character <laughs> going into some straight-up assassination. Go back into last episode and, and, and go through that, because that was pretty cool. Um... And, and it, it did eventually turn into an all-out brawl. Um, 
So at the at the end of this, successfully, you know, taking care of all these cultists, um, the last to fall left you with an ominous message: "Frulum will flay you alive." Um, as he fell to his death. After a little bit of exploring around this smaller encampment, you are you also found a note that says, "At the all clear, return to the camp. The hatchery is now yours." the three eggs must remain. So now we are at um, where you can see on the map right now. This is a, a very, very zoomed out bird's eye view of the overall encampment that the party has now found. Please ignore your tokens. They're just there so you can see um, this page. But you're, you're able, you guys are, I'll, I'll mark it so we can see. You had decided to sneak up to this area, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, is white highest or is the the beige highest? White is highest. Because I thought we might have been here, but I could be wrong. You did not get think... that close. Okay. Yeah, I think we stayed like right between like kind of like where those trees are essentially because it was really close to the white, but still in. In okay. area, yeah, right. so we didn't have to go in all the way. Right. Okay. So that's a very good question. I did. I did let you guys know that there are different levels. Um, it's important to know that the dark is the lowest, and the white is the highest. With this mm -hmm. beige area being in the middle, um, we also know that the two X's mark uh, small towers. That uh, it seem it's pretty clear that there are watchtowers. Um, I believe one of you was able to see at least uh, one or two beings inside the one that's nearest you. And you decided on the plan to begin a long rest now at midday, um, both in hopes of doing a little bit of R&R &R, as well as taking advantage of the cover of night to make your next move. So, um, first of all, did I miss or misrepresent anything? cats this would have been a great time for me to take a level in rogue remembering what we were doing <laughs> I, sh I should have just delayed all of my plans and just been like assassin mode i got a really sweet magic weapon didn't i yeah yeah, yeah you got a wand of magic, magic missiles. Uh, so excited um i think the only thing on top of that was that uh Juno and I were splitting the rest because we have the four hour mm -hmm. sleep. Right. <clears throat> I think the rest of us are just gonna like Conk out. help. Yeah, just help in between. Just like take two hours because why not? Have I'll I'll okay. have my bird stay up instead of me because. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. That's what familiars are for. So we are currently beginning your your rest at midday, and now we're going to go around and briefly introduce you guys. But along with the very quick, who are you? Who are you playing? Let's let's talk a little bit about what are you thinking. This is um, you know that you're approaching what you assume to be the entire greenest raiding group. So keep that in mind. But we've leveled um, up since then. It's fine. You have leveled we up since up. then. It's fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I, don't think I, get, I don't think I get that much. I'm going to be honest. So, um, <laughs> you hold it, class. This so, Sir awesome. Heck, we'll start with you with uh, right. what's on your mind. Uh, what All are you right. thinking? What are you planning? Uh, I don't know, guys. But first of all, it's me, Sir Heck a lot. You know. I have to start with that. Like, I, I guess it's just part of my contract now. <laughs> but um, hello, everybody. I'm going to be playing Aster, the Wild Hunt Shifter Druid, Circle of Wildfire. And yeah, um, Aster's just mind and just general state is very scrambled right now. Um, she technically has not, like, intentionally kill the person until two end game days ago and she's freaking out a little about that um so the thought the thought of just confronting this entire battalion of people that just raided a city is freaking her out a little bit so we'll see how <laughs> that goes <laughs> awesome uh point of order ulta you have advantage on your next role and juno you have 
plus two to your next check or save. Woohoo! Eliseo, who are you and hey. what are you thinking? I'm Niffer. I'm playing Eliseo. They are the cool uh, time wizard. Um, and they are kind of just one along for the ride because uh, their family is just doing things. And Eliseo is kind of a support class in, you know, both being a wizard and a spouse. So that's where I'm at. Um, but also kind of just like secretly is just doubting that this is actually going to go the way that everyone thinks and they're just going to prepare for that. So, you know, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's Icarus, fine. you're up. All and right. if it's not fine, we'll make it fine. <laughs> <laughs> I am Hyacinth playing Icarus, the elven twin two bard lock with a minor theme that's light based i'm kind of fayish i don't know there's it's hard to describe it yet um there's a lot of things going on but going into this i mean we kind of me and my sister had a, a thing to investigate so like we're kind of just like trying to collect information as well as not i'm not the brightest at least so i'm trying to collect information while not knowing what to do kind of just trying to be heroic i was like these are bad guys anyways like I don't know. Just let's let's cause a riot. <laughs> All right, Juno. Hi everyone, I'm Cordog. I'm playing Juno. Juno is, yeah, trying to do the smart thing by look around, like looking around at like everything that has been transpiring. She doesn't really know what's going on. She's been very much like caught up in her own little world of like trying to worship the Moonweaver and do like weird things with that. So like the past two weeks for her have been, or like maybe month-ish, have been pretty rough, but she is also fey ish uh, We're just doing our best to figure out what being elves actually means right now, both as players and as characters. So we're, we're molding our elves together. One <laughs> is light, one is dark, we're yin and yang or something like that. Like we're doing our best, but we'll see. That's Gross. my wife. Killing. Oh, yeah, and I'm married to Ellis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me, personally. Yes. Or, or Juno. Corndog is the one that's Wait. married to Ellis. What? <laughs> All right, and then Ulta. Yeah, yeah. So I'm Chrissy playing Ulta, a uh, Swordkeeper Ranger, and oh, how she's feeling about all of this. Um,. I mean, at this point, she's she's probably a little concerned, um, mostly because, you know, her and Aster have been traveling, not quite expecting this, I don't think, um, especially how quickly it's been happening. She's a little, that's given her some, some anxiety, um, but she also is the type of creature where you know she's going to do what needs to be done so if this is what we're doing it's she's gonna she's gonna do it so she, she might not like it but she doesn't have to like it to do it <laughs> um <laughs> that's kind of where she's at and i don't know that ulta really um expects quite to make it out alive i think she's kind of at a point where she's like um just going hard she doesn't quite know what that means, but she's just doing it. All right. Like, we're in it. We're in it. We might as well. You've already beat death once. You can do it again. <laughs> <laughs> again. The crazy one-on-one. -on -one. All uh, right. Yeah. Um, so it is now midday, um, and you guys are, are starting to hunker down. Um, it sounded like... Icarus and Juno, are the, are you single-handedly taking watch, or I guess we'll just say who's who's going first between, for watch? Between the two of us, we have eight hours, so we could do it on our own, I think. We could. If anyone wants there. to, like, hang out and chat with us, though, you know, to, like, sure. give us some advantage on perception, or oh, for yeah. those of you who are, like, better at perception and stuff, because, like, while yeah. I am a cleric, and while I, like, put things into wisdom, like... You guys know that I'm not the best cleric. We're probably pretty equal on that, honestly. <laughs> Bird's gonna help. Yeah. Aster um, can look at things real good. I'll so. take the first shift. I'll take care of the daytime. You take care of the nighttime, you know, as we start yeah, to shift. Yeah, I know. can see better at night, so. That too. 
Hey. You've got 300 I... foot dark vision, right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> For fun. Insane. <laughs> Everybody has dark see, vision, but like... Juno has advanced dark vision. Yep. I'm just all <laughs> pupils. No, <laughs> nothing else. It's real weird. Awesome. All right. Um, so first watch, perception checks, please. And um, if if you did not indicate that you're on first watch, I am assuming you are sleeping slash trancing. What if the bird's doing something? If you want the bird doing something, then you can nice. um, have him roll perception as well. The bird rolled a one. Investigation. <laughs> seven. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, We're dead. It's we're gonna over. Have a great start. This is. Uh, I rolled a three plus four. <laughs> Coming in hot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, has, wait, 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 wait. He has advantage because of. Oh, you do have advantage. <laughs> Oh, I rolled an 18. How oh, good. Okay. okay, that's better. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a 21 for him. Oh, thank God we have a bird. <sighs> thank All God right. we have a bird. <laughs> um, awesome. So the those of you who are not in a bird's point of view are over the course of a few hours, you'll only ever see two people go into the camp. From, from this direction to your west, walking straight toward this first tower and into the camp. Um, they're both pretty ordinary uh, looking human folks walking next to individual horses drawing small carts each. And uh, those carts have piles of fur from what you can see. Um, as Puff goes up, he's going to be able to see that these carts are actually carrying um, carcasses of animals, like elk and deer, into okay. the camp. Um, you'll also see... It could have been you. Hey, it could have been you, Master. <laughs> They're searching. They're searching, but they can't find her. Oh. Um, going... There's a bounty. Where, where would you like Puff to go other than just this main... Can you go check out the here. other tower too? Sure. Cool. Um, so I won't be able to see through his eyes, but he can kind of come back and telepathically report to me, or he can like talk to Juno or whoever's on watch. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, it's it's gonna be you. So. Yep. Cool. It's not out of the ordinary for an owl to be flying around here, so it's not gonna be like he's he's outed or anything like that. Um, but as he comes back to, I guess, within your range to be able to understand him, um, you will get images of kobolds inside cool. the tower. Okay. Um, and then a, a whole mess of just scattered tents. All of these dots around here are scattered tents. Um, and th they're... The only thing that seems to be kind of like out of place, uh, I don't want to say out of place, but like notably different than the rest of the camp is this tent at the southeastern corner. Oh, the really big and separated one? The really mm. big separated <laughs> one is really big and separated. Mm. <laughs> is it Purple Man's tent? We don't know. You do not know. The man behind the slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nerd War. I know that was serious. Yep. Um, other than that, your your watch passes without any anything else happening. Um, Icarus, you were were you on watch for that one? And Juno was. Yes. Okay, so Juno. I'm in a trance. Yep. During oh, during your semi conscious state, you you end up experiencing a sort of um, very very real dream. And this is, this is not something that's new or strange to you. Um, you're actually kind of starting to embrace it now um, because this has happened in your life before and especially with all the stresses of recent days, uh, you're noticing that, the, that when this happens, it's like as if it's real happening in real life. Um, you, you get a sort of bird's eye view flying around the camp. And as you pass this lone tent 
uh, this large lone tent at the at the corner, you do notice a gaping hole leading into the mountain to the east, right next to the tent. Hmm. And then you wake up. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna nudge LSAO. And I'm um, going to eye you cautiously. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a direction for Puff to go. And then okay. I'll just ex explain everything that I saw to LSAO. Maybe oh, we could like send a big in. separated tent. Yeah. It's like right behind it. There's a big old hole. All right. He can go back. I missed one very important detail. I'm very sorry. I got to add to the description for everybody that um, that Puff saw. The just huge to the dragon. <laughs> just yeah, to just a giant dragon. Tiamat's right there. Just to the south of the lone separated tent, kind of in that open space, is uh -huh. a large wooden pyre. It's not a stake. It's like a big pole with uh, several people um, tied to it. Oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. I really want Puff to just kamikaze, just like dive bomb it and untie him. <laughs> just like go yeah, for it. Good, like, yeah, sure. Yes, it good absolutely luck. can happen. Minor detail, just needed Guidance. to make sure that slipped in there. <laughs> Minor yeah, detail that happens. will change everything we do. It's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, good night. <laughs> so Juno's going to be like, there's a hole behind that tent. And I'll be like, there's like a bunch of people in front of that tent. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, but it, it's Puff. Puff will be okay. Puff, yeah, Puff is fine. And if they kill our owl, we just kill them. I oh. say if you're really quietly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can, All right. You like get forehead it. smooch about that. <laughs> Maybe I didn't say kill. Maybe I said we avenge Puff. Puff can come back. Yeah, I know. Okay. I, we've seen Puff come back. Yeah. We'll still avenge <laughs> Puff. I mean, yes. Any reasoning you need. <laughs> mm -hmm. Says the most no, supportive spouse ever. Yeah. No, it feels like Juno and Icarus are like killers that need like compensate. Like they need it to be justified. I mean, after your little assassination brigade the last time, like... Yeah. It was heroic. <laughs> I mean, it was awesome. It was. <laughs> but the whole Sometimes. time I was like, I can't believe this is working. <laughs> could we? If I would have just went into Rogue, it would have just gone so smoothly until the end when I messed it up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good, Good night, Juno. <laughs> Good night, brother. And then no, Juno really will start, like, looking out, watching people... Seeing, yeah. like, staying close enough to her companions, but also, like, kind of, like, walking around and getting, like, a better idea of how they would actually get into this camp once everyone's awake. Okay. Um, yeah, Astro will join in for, you know, two of those hours just to help out with watch. Okay. Are you going anywhere outside of this small patch of woods that you're currently in, or are you just kind of going nope. to the edge of it? Nope, I'm just using, I'll use that for cover, but just looking for, like, if there's any kind of, like, paths or anything like that that have been walked on by other beings, or, like, oh. if there might be, like, another way in, if I can see, like, any types of trails or anything like that. Okay. Um, so you go ahead and make a survival check. Oh. And okay. then, Aster, let's have you make an investigation check. It's a 21 okay. nice. for survival. <laughs> I'm so good at these. 19, not bad. Nice. Let's do... We're going to put on some night time because it's getting toward night now. Night time. Day time. <laughs> night time. Night time. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Juno, you're you're looking for 
You said uh, any obvious pathways recently taken, pa uh, tracks that yeah. might be in and or out, other than this, like, single low yeah, ground than, like, way to Yeah, other than, like, this single seen. low ground way into camp that would definitely uh, be visible to everyone as we approached. Right. So, you... Okay. Sorry, Cole, I just got your message. Um... You are only able to see the occasional um, single Holy, set of footprints. This is the dankest. Oh no! Um, and and they're really scattered. Uh, you with a twenty-one, you'd be able to tell that um, they're they're not like multiple people at the same time. It was like a single person here or there. Um, okay. You're saying they ride single file? They hide their numbers? <laughs> Maybe. Also, we have a bad table. We got we bad table. Bad uh oh. Table. Uh, uh oh. Murder. Why? Who invited him? <laughs> he came in here with me and my. <laughs> oh no. Um, I'll I'll get to the end of this and then. Okay, uh, cool. Thanks. I bring pure happiness. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have other, a other than that, you know, you, the only the only like clearly beaten path that you can see is that low ground toward the tower into the camp and the same way out. Okay. Um, Aster, as you're sort of checking things out too, you will notice as we get closer to nightfall that um, activity around the camp is decreasing over time. For that time, it's mostly just been people going between tents. Um, and are you able to... No, that's about it. Um, as we get to nightfall, you can see that uh, about a third of the tents have like small fires going. Um, it's like barely enough to see the immediate areas around, like within a, within a few feet of the fires. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys have dark vision anyway, so I don't think anything visibility is really all that much of an issue, but it is significantly less, uh, the overall encampment is significantly less visible than it was during the day. Um, bad table, where you at? Hooray. Also, I just had an idea for how to get in. Oh no. <laughs> Among Us, part two. <laughs> All right, Juno, Everyone honestly, we need a D100 from you, please. Excellent. No, look what you've uh, done, Martyr. <laughs> bring you've it on. innocent. <gasps> okay, well, well, look what you've done. I guess you that's acceptable. 89, please. If I get a stomach on any part of my body that, or not a stomach, a mouth on any part mouth. of my body. There we go. <laughs> Figured it out. 89, yeah. No by new the way. mouths. I don't want a new <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I'll never forget that it's 78 on the table. We are afraid. Oh, this isn't oh. bad. Um. <laughs> sure, Jan. Um, sure, you Jan. Sure. suddenly yes. have sure, a right. an aggressive interest in poetry. You oh, begin no. creating your own terrible poems. Excellent. <laughs> oh, I really hope one is oh, about like that. Your partner would be so proud. Oh, I want a terrible poem, please. I'm on it. Yes, good. Yep. <laughs> oh man, how many subs got gift? Twenty-five. Okay. Twenty-five. Oh wait, no, that's not twenty-five no, subs. Five, five, five subs. subs. There's twenty-five appears. rewards. Holy cats! Oh my goodness, I was like, <laughs> I just heard the alert a few times, and I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Here we go. Episode that one. Hour. <laughs> awesome. Um. Okay, so. The, the rest of your watch ends up passing without any anything else really happening. So we are now at, like, middle of the night, and the all of you have successfully gotten through a long rest at this point. And Whoa. behind the scenes, chat, we did level up, so you're, we're level four now, yes? Yeah, yeah we are. Level four. So level we got four. some new level fun stuff four. to do. So with the cover of Nightfall, what are you thinking? Did Puff go and scout out the cave behind the tent again? 
during the second watch. He wouldn't have been able to tell me because I've been sleeping, but he could have like looked. Uh, did you have to summon him again, or is he just there until well, you? He's, he's just there until he dies, or I put him in my pocket dimension. Oh, okay. Um, if you would have wanted him to go check out the cave, then yes. Cool. He could have so, done that. He would have seen Juno that. Juno told him to. Okay. Uh, he would have seen I... that the cave goes pretty deep. Um, it splits almost immediately. Hang on, let me put it there myself. Yeah. Uh, so the entrance is large. I mean, once he gets closer, it's pretty obvious. Um, lo about 60 foot or so. Uh, cool. Sorry, 30 foot or so. Uh, opening into this cave that that sort of splits off almost immediately after the entrance and and it turns into kind of a small maze um there are several strange cre creatures about um there are some humans there are some people wearing strange masks and robes that's just 2020 it's fine <laughs> Um, and, and a few, like, creepy crawlies about. Cool. I guess I get reported that in the morning and tell everybody about it as they're trying to eat breakfast. <laughs> like, hey, here's all the creepy crawly things. Yep. Wait, are I, we getting up at nighttime? Yeah, we are. It is nighttime. You yes. know what? I want to shoot straight up when I wake up for my trance and be like, I just had a great idea. <laughs> Eureka. Yeah. R riddle me this. How tall are the towers? I have not thought about that at all. How <laughs> tall are the towers? Because that could ruin my idea. <laughs> oh my god. I think you need to continue this idea without knowing. <laughs> um, they're tell. about 20 feet high to the platform and then <laughs> another 8, 10 feet from there to their cover. I can teleport someone else 30 feet. I also can teleport 30 feet. Well, I was just going to teleport you because you're the strongest, so. Oh, tanks, then you could, I got it. you can rope us up. <laughs> I also can fly. I got ways of being vertical, my friend. Yeah, but if you fly, you'll be noticed. My beautiful angel spouse. Is that your poem? Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that a creature was stirring. It could be. In house. I can teleport someone. It doesn't have to be you. Or me. Just someone. Okay. And I uh, figured I figured someone else might have a way to get the rest of the people up. I don't know. Like I was going to offer to toss on some cobalt armor and walk into camp. Oh, right. I can always be something, you know, inconspicuous. Like, I don't know, I could be a bug if I wanted to, I guess. And I can be a bad guy. Not a kobold, but a bad guy. And I can sneak. <laughs> <laughs> this is about how our plans normally go. <laughs> this uh, is fine. I was gonna say if, I mean, if Aster could cast to make us all sneaky across the board in general. Oh yeah, that's true. Something I can do, I, I prepared that. And then, uh, a couple folks could head towards the tent, the large tent specifically, or the tunnel. And then a couple of us could s scope out the actual tent city. You can interrupt me, bud. <laughs> oh, what if, so they're all in tents except for the towers, right? I think there's people like walking around and stuff. Good what if we question. just light? At, at this point, there are two uh, you would have been able to see this between the owl and those of you who are looking. There are two kobolds in each tower where you saw there were at least that many during the day. And with the exception of, like, not even a handful of people generally patrolling the camp, yes, everyone else is in their tents. What if we just burn all the tents down? Like, send one flaming arrow and just light it all up. I mean... I feel like that's a bit <laughs> aggressive. 
currently. That's just that's a little. Quickly. Maybe maybe we shouldn't. We're also, just killing everybody immediately. Also, <laughs> things don't catch fire as quickly as you think they're going to. Also very true. And that's a lot of arrows that we never get back. I, I don't think any of us even have arrows to begin with. I do. So, I, I, do. Good. I have a crossbow. I saw how I'm at today. I was like, oh, neat. Who knew? <laughs> I, I get that it's aggressive, but we know they're all bad guys already. So like that's why I'm like, I mean, some uh, of them aren't bad. Some of them are just stupid. I, like, there's just look, a difference. Look, look, yes, that. We from let like two of them go, thinking they were bad guys. See, look, well, the our mission is, is to rehabilitate this entire cult. <laughs> there are just so <laughs> many of them that I'm afraid to sneak in and just yeah, be like surrounded. Yeah, you know? I almost kind of want to like do an audience vote. Do we rehabilitate the entire dragon cult? Yes. Or All right, let's burn this entire camp to the chat. ground. Hold on, I think I can I've, start a poll. <laughs> I've got, I've got an idea, you guys. Poll in chat. Maybe no. this could work. So Please. we know that there's kobolds inside the towers, right? Yes. Well, what if a couple of us, including Ulta, sneak over to the tower that's up here on the level that's like right ahead of us? So we climb up, scurry our little ways over, and then we get Ulta put in that tower. After we, like, yeah, I can just we make the there. other kobolds fall asleep, asleep. Um, Go so asleep. then Ulta has control of that watchtower, therefore helping us kind of conceal ourselves that much further because that's the watchtower that's going to be able to see us most likely if we were to approach from anywhere. So that at least takes some guards away from like who would notice us. So I get a free misty step without using a spell slot, so I can just poof her up there. Why are you so special? What the heck? I mean, cursing wizards. <laughs> <laughs> I always just want to feel special for once. Come on. Look, I, I made a choice to not multi-class, which means I get cool things right now, and you just have to sit there. Sorry. <laughs> well, I can teleport people other than myself. I don't think you can. Kind of quick look is that true? <laughs> Misty Step is a self-spell, <laughs> but I can cast it on someone else as part of my thing. Okay, look at you. You are special. Wow. Yay. <laughs> like, the, the, I hope this is in character. <laughs> oh, it absolutely is oh, in character. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So, Ulta is just going to say, I, I just, just saying, I think that us picking one task and one goal is yep. probably best case scenario right now because there's a lot of us and a little, uh, or a lot of them and a little of us. So either we sneak over to the tunnel to get towards where I would assume the eggs are, maybe. That's a good or idea. Or whatever yeah, is happening in the tunnel. That's probably the hatchery. And by that is the prisoners, which I think is also very important. Oh, yes. Very, yeah, that's kind of what maybe they, they can help us. That I'm sure we were already told about. <laughs> yes, I told you all. <laughs> I share knowledge, except when it's backstory. So I, I think we should just like pick one. Yeah, can we get closer to that side before we try to sneak in? Well, what Let if we go down. up to the higher one, take out that watchtower, and then we can just rappel down that wall yes. that's there, or climb down it, and then we're right at the cave entrance. Can it's we right behind. physically get to the higher level here, or is it, like, hard to navigate? Um, from where you are, you can tell that the the climb up... So it's it's actually kind of inside the, the clumped tree area that you're in so even if it's difficult it's only about 10 15 feet of a climb right. um and you you did successfully stealth your way in here you're pretty embedded um i'll just flat out tell you that you, you just straight up feel like you could almost make some noise up here and not have a problem almost nice that's um, awesome. um, just so you're so aware, good at this. Uh, Magic, I attempted to draw the path that I was thinking, uh, but my oh. color is a whitish color oh. on a whitish color. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah. Um, well done. Because if we're there, like, oh, God. Ah. <laughs> Damn it, brother. You ruined our map. <laughs> it started off as a good redrawing. It, like, was... You know, just a different color, but like accurate-ish, and then it got messy. <laughs> okay, Chaos I'll make it here. orange, and let me let me know if this is accurate. Yep. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow, he's good at this. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he's the DM. <laughs> I tell it. He okay. can draw. 
<laughs> so I can draw a line. You you guys would be able to tell, you know, sort of uh, uh, checking this out. That I'm gonna I'm gonna assume you're at the edge, the southeastern edge, at the start of the orange path at this point, in order to be able to see that you can scope out that path. Um, yeah. You would be able to tell that you're basically at eye level of this tower, if someone were to look this direction. So you would definitely need to be sneaky enough to sort of get across this gap between the two small groves without being seen. I'm going to take off my pink cape um, and hide it in my little non-bright colored bag. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's a step. That's a step. It, it looks long, nice DM, beforehand. <laughs> how long would it take us to get to that back tower, the further one? Um, not, not very long. It's only, from where you are, that total path is only a few hundred feet. Let me, okay. let oh, me nice. make a guesstimate here. Yeah, uh, five, 550 feet in that area. Um, so Ulta will turn to Aster and, and say, I mean, we can get in there kind of sneaky and then go from there. Yeah, I like it. I think, yeah, I think that's what we should do. And then she'll kind of turn to the rest of them and say, so is the goal to take over the tower? and find out what's in it, or is the goal to, just what's in the tower? It? Just, guess, just, yeah, just take it out. Yeah. What's gonna happen when the entire rest of the army realizes we have taken the tower out? Well, we'll have a tower. Is it a- We'll is have it, the high ground, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Will they is know it we've wooden, taken it or out? or is it like an actual tower, like a castle tower? It's, o it's only about 20 to 30 feet high, and only fits you you can tell it only fits like three regular sized people at a time so these Is are they're like or vision or? posts uh, okay so they're wooden, not like fortified towers no they're, just they're, like, they're like wood scaffolding with maybe some stone at the bottom like completely makeshift things what if yeah. we light it on fire as a distraction and then sneak into the not cave to hurt hatchery? people, but like to just like draw attention, like oh no, what's happening? Fire, and then sneak around it. You know, I'm sensing a theme here, Icarus. <laughs> <laughs> I just I mean, don't know what else to do with it. What do you want me to do? Light mean... it on water? <laughs> like I can't do that. But also, wouldn't that make them want to guard what they're guarding more? It, more yeah, it yeah. is a little bit close. You're right. Yeah. Or so I guess just sneak, just sneak the tower straight into the hatchery. And... Yeah, but, like, it, they wouldn't know we took it over until, like, a shift change or something, which we don't know if that would be near it. Mm -hmm. So Okay, as evidenced by your antics last episode, <laughs> shift changes don't always go the best. <laughs> but if, like, we at least are there and have Ulta up there in the armor, then it at least looks like there's a kobold that's supposed to be there who's there doing their that's job. True. So that could at least happen for a little while, and maybe Ulta's the last one to come down and join us. Yeah, she could always just pull the. They didn't send me a partner for some reason. Just like. You or you know. could look like a human up there. But we've only seen kobolds in the tower so oh, far. Oh, yeah, that's true. Never mind. Jesus I, Christ, I, your I, passive I, traits are already out of control. Holy crap. So sorry. <laughs> I can look like a. I can look like a human, but I can't. Like, look like I a very tall kobold. I, I could, but like I can't. I can only shrink myself so much, because it's illusion. Just slouch. I think Aster like could make herself look like a kobold if we need. Um, Aster well, I, I and can actually only Ulta. turn into little. What if she animals, turns into a giant people. lizard? That's close enough. Uh, you can't, you can't I could do I could be a giant lizard, but that's not really the same thing. I could be like a big kobold and be like, my name's Brutus. Yes. Um, Aster, Ulta, Juno, your your passive wisdom is more than enough to uh, that I can give you a little nugget here. Um, My goodness, you nuggets. would you would recall, at the very least, recall from your encounter with the the little splinter group at first that the kobolds are at a, ver a fairly significant intellectual disadvantage compared to you guys when it comes to organization. 
and the kobolds so we, are the ones manning the towers. So, like, if it was a shift change, we could just lie to them and it would work. Most likely. Maybe. Most likely. <laughs> Probably. I'm just gonna turn into a big kobold. <laughs> or you could just send the kobold. I mean, you don't I'm have to so change scared. in anything, but I mean, just we send, send both of, I think we send both of you, so that yeah, way, I'll at least, good. like, if they start speaking in kobold, I don't know if kobolds have their own language, but at least, like... Um, they you they could talk usually with speak, um, I believe draconic. Yes. If they're not speaking in common. Cool. Yeah. Actually, oh, I, I speak might... that. That's neat. I think I might <laughs> speak that too. Yeah, I might as well. I do. I'm not sure. We no. all speak draconic. This is great. <laughs> it's as if you knew a dragon campaign was coming. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I had to be able to read books about dragons. Yep. <laughs> great. Okay, so are we taking the tower then? I think we take the tower for as long as it takes to get the other three of us at least down below. Into the cave behind the tent? Yeah, let's and go we'll into the, the cave behind the, the tent. tent. Yep. I don't and think we really not, need a plan. It seems to go well every and time. And we're we do not something. addressing the captives in front of the tent when we sneak into. <laughs> I mean, the captives are going to be who we grab on our way out, I'm assuming. Okay. Good deal. Unless we're trying to pull them into a cave with us, which then people will come into the cave with us. That's true. We don't want to be discovered before we let them out, because okay. then okay. it'll be harder for them to get out as well. I just want to make sure that we are on the same page. We're still thinking about them, but... Okay, we're going. Yeah, let's do All it. All right. Pals out of the tree. We have <laughs> planned for long enough. Just, just stay relatively close. Yep. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is fine. Well, 30, I think you have to be in stuff. 30 feet, within 30 feet of me, okay? Stay within 30 feet. Yep, this so everybody moving needs to make that stealth check with your plus 10 craziness. Yeah. Stealth check. 31. 23. 20. 20. <laughs> I love Whoa. it. It's a natural five. Math. I love when we get to make fun of the people that roll less than 20. <laughs> 25. <laughs> 25. All right. So you are all able to, um, actually, you, yeah, you're, as you pass through that openish area, you're going to take, all of you will take like a quick glance over at the tower and you'll see, um, a small flickering light, probably firelight, um, and you'll see at least one flickering shadow at the top of the tower, but, um, you're confident that you've gone unnoticed and now you're behind the cover of this second wooded area. Just putting a hand on Icarus's shoulder so he's not tempted to go deal with that flickering light. <laughs> I saw that face. <laughs> I'm not a, I swear I'm not a pyro. It was just the only thing I could think of in the moment. I don't that have is... much to work with here. I'm a uh, warlock. Brother, brother, real quick. I thought of a poem. Yes. Tell me what you think of this. Okay. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. But the roses are wilting, and the violets are dead, and the sugar bowl's empty, just like your head. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to do bad wait, wait, poetry. Wait, wait. Oh, I love it. Man. It says love bad it. poetry. I got it from I a mean, it, bad Oh my god, URL. dude. That is. I need one of these. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> you oh, insulted no, me and complimented me. That was lovely. Oh my goodness. I feel right. like it added... Can I have bardic add... inspiration for that? <laughs> I I would like to fist bump Juno, please. That was good. Oh, that, that was, was really exactly, good. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It's not even really bad. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so you... like, I can't even be upset that she insulted me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel very choice. much like a bard and like very confident in myself <laughs> to continue like walking through the group. Got a little strut in your step now? Yep. My next bardic awesome. inspiration is going to be your poem. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, so I, I am noting not that I, I'm not, I am actually not hinting at anything specific. I just want to make sure that there's fair, uh, you know, disclosure of everything. As you're passing by the edge of this second wooded area, you are able to clearly see now that this ledge, see if I can sort of mark it, this ledge yes, here. Yes, show us your good art skills. 
this guy um, is is open as well as the area that you're heading to over here. Okay. Um, before we make any more decisions, we need to take a super quick. All right. We back. I'm, I'm excited but nervous because our plans <laughs> always go weird. <laughs> This is our fourth episode. How do we have an always already? <laughs> Ever since the first episode when our planning just went. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to I try. feel like this is the most plan of a plan we've ever planned. I guess. Yeah. That Very is true. true. That is definitely true. Okay, oh, are we on again? We yes. are on. Problem with this plan. <laughs> I can teleport one person, myself or the actual kobold. But I'm a big kobold. <laughs> So who do we want to send? <laughs> I feel like the actual kobold. I guess we could also yeah. just climb. Yeah, okay. I was gonna offer just to climb. What up if we... So we weren't super suspicious instead of me just bamfing up there like? Um, also, I'm like six foot seven, so if I just take you on my hands and just push <laughs> you up, you're most of the way there. I'm a little. We could human pyramid. I, mean, I don't really. feel like also, climbing. Also I will say climb you, the stairs. you are able to see something doors. new now. You okay. are able to see something new now. There's a ladder, um, isn't there? Something. Well, I mean, there is a ladder at the base of the tower because they have to get in somehow. But um, you are able to see from the spot you're at that there is uh, a little bit of a ledge that goes down before a small cliff that the tower is on. Um so the level that you're on is actually only about five to ten feet below the foot level of this tower. So I gotta go down to go up. Unless you somehow so jump it. So maybe we jump. send uh, Ulta and Big Kobold and the How far other the three jump? of us just <laughs> stay back. What if I throw the Kobold? <laughs> You're I mean, you're not quite close enough yet that I can put you on the actual map, so I'm just gonna have to do my best with describing for now with like your line of sight. Um, my next question is, what are we doing with these kobolds? Are, like we said, we might take them out, but like that's very nondescript for like what our actual plan is. I was just gonna tell them to go back to their tents, go to sleep, okay. but okay. we're relieving them. Yeah. Do that. And do use it. the front door and have it be a very natural, normal thing. And then yeah. if things go sideways, they go sideways after the fact, not because of us. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll just start walking. And I'll follow her. Like, her her muscle, even though, like, I don't actually have muscle, I just look like a big kobold. <laughs> it's illusionary muscle. Muscle. Mushle. Mushle. Yep. And I'll just start climbing up the uh, tower. Okay. Um, it's is it you? I I missed it. Is it you by yourself, Ulta? Or is and, anybody and with me. you? It's I'll go behind her. Kobold. Oh, disguised so as a kobold. Out. Got it. Yep. Okay. So. Five foot tall kobold. Um, I think we are close enough that I'm going to do this, so... Where are you? That's Icarus, and that's Ulta. Oh, come on, stop freaking out, game. I'm oddly nervous. <laughs> The last time I did something like this, it didn't go super well. So. Look, Bard, if you can't figure this out, <laughs> I had to. I had to kill the guy last time. I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, as my best friend recently said to me, "You canned these worms. Now you're gonna deal with them." <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to put a small porch there. Um, while the three of us are uh, waiting back. Mm -hmm. uh, Juno is going to lean over to Aster and just be like, Aster, I, I, I wrote you a poem yes, good. while we were walking over here just now. Every time I see your face, it reminds me of you. And then I just... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Oh my god, this is great. This is a great curse. Um, or not curse, but affliction. 
bad table. Oh my God. Um, okay, so if you, I should, your view should have shifted. Um, and all of you should have some amount of vision. Is that correct? Okay. Um, Ulta and Icarus, you can see the tower here. Oh, it's up here. I found it. Um, you are having a hard time seeing it from your token's point of view because dark dark vision only goes so far. But because of the light, I'll, I'll put a small torch there. Um, would, would we be over by it by now? Because we're just going to go climb up the ladder. Or if you're just waltzing right up to it, it, then yes. I yeah, just we're just going to walk right in like we own the place. Okay. Yeah. Um, because since since we're assuming they're dumb, we're just gonna like just do it and hope it goes well. Okay. Token emits light. Boop. Let there be light. Away. Boom. Uh, okay. We, we got a plus, oh, look at that. Two, plus two to poem master. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. That is my second plus two. I must learn to use these. <laughs> Please do. Okay. Uh, you you guys now can move yourselves. Uh, or at least you should be able to. Are we still stealthy? Yes. Um, if are if you, you're I've... within 30 feet of me. Yes. <laughs> so, LSAO and Juno are still He's stealthy. stealthy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So as long as you Do guys we... are like here cool we're we're gonna keep you guys as unnoticed at this point um but if you want to move let me know i just wanted to creep and get a better view it's fine <laughs> <laughs> honestly the shadows are kind of terrifying a little bit aren't they yeah they're really scary <laughs> <laughs> Something's gonna come out from the darkness on my screen like i, I can't even see you guys like oh my God. i've already I lost can track of where you were. You Don't worry, I can still see all of you. <laughs> Yay! This this is the joy of dynamic lighting for me. I know a lot of people don't like it very much, but it's it's like I like it in theory, you keeps know. It honest. Is this is this 120 feet or less? I am not seeing anything. From them to us, from the tower to Oh. the side. I can show you. Because you know where the tower is, right? You can see the light. Uh-huh. How much is that? Oh, uh, you're up there? <clears throat> yes. I thought you were over here. No. no we were I'd be dead. <laughs> I'd just be lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're... Chris's you're sense of direction is so bad. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. I think... Well, Once they go inside is when we could potentially start sneaking around because they're going to be talking and engaged with them inside. That's a good idea. I'm just going to have Puff like sit on my head and use his dark vision because he has 120 feet of it. <laughs> and I don't. Okay. Um, so as you guys get there, you will get the... Um, you you'll be noticed, of course. And two kobold heads will pop out and just sort of Your chitter ghost. at you a little bit and say, Shift change already? Yeah, that's what they told us. My lucky day. Guess so. <laughs> I'm not even going to make you make a check for that. I love it. <laughs> that was very kobold. My name's right. Brutus. <laughs> no, don't go further. Uh. Keep talking. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, whoops. I didn't want to move my label. Hello. Well, did you know Brutus is draconic for like a really filthy insult? <laughs> hey, game. Let's stop freaking out. There they are. The cold name equivalent of like Cletus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, they're just gonna start packing up uh, a couple of small bed rolls that they had up here and chunks of what you can tell are just like leftover bone from uh, whatever it was they were eating. And oh. they'll, they'll start heading down. 
I'll be like, oh, good dinner. <laughs> Except that your your mouth is not where your real mouth is. <laughs> Just Wait, like raise it above my head. This extra mouth is gone. Now. Wait, are you talking about the extra mouth? Or are you talking it's about something? It's because no, 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 no. I am illusionarily shorter than I am, so I have to like raise it above my head. <laughs> oh, I get it. Because <laughs> I made myself shorter so that I was just a tall kobold instead of an ungodly kobold. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can see these two walking away. Juno, you at the very least can see, after the course of a few seconds, that they are backtracking basically the way that these two came from. Okay, um, I'm going to tell my group to scooch into the forest better <laughs> so we can hide. We're, we're going to call this the forest area. <laughs> I know it's not exact, but... Them trees. Yeah. Scooch back into them trees. I will, if there is a light or a lantern or something, I'll just kind of like leave it as some sort of signal to go ahead. So this, we, this right here is a the, torch. What if we turn the lights out so that they don't see what's coming? Well, we don't want to make it like too, we don't Suspicious want people, idea. yeah, we don't want people to like come over here. So That's I'll just kind of like wave it a little bit and then stick it back in its holster. So now do we start going like this direction? Just I like think pass, once we see the <laughs> kobolds like walk past, then we go that direction. Yeah. So we wait for them to pass and then we scooch along the ridge. Then we scooch. So from where you guys are, if you're staying there right now, you will need to make additional stealth check. Cool. All right. I moved back into the trees. I don't know if the other two are technically in the I, trees, but that's I would what I did. Probably follow. That seems wise. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I would um, have warned them too. I'm gonna yeah. try a thing here. Hey, that worked. Okay, sweet. Thirty-two oh. for my stealth this time. Oh, I forgot you <gasps> guys still have Natural twenty. <laughs> nice. So thirty-two. Twenty-four. Okay. So over the course of the next. 30 seconds, minute or so. You guys are going to see these two kobolds pretty absentmindedly just stroll along, but they're very specifically going along, like, the ledge here. Um, All right. And kind of loosely checking out in front of them as they go. You keep going. And then after a little while, they are out of your sight. It's pretty clear that they're taking this ledge downward to the west-northwest direction. Excellent. Hey, Ulta, you want to go on a patrol now? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, I like how, like, I'm you, in, both as of the you bar, I'm, like, completely checks. in character, and she's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, Ulta and Icarus, make perception checks for me, please. Okay. We're just 18. playing Leapfrog up, up top. <laughs> oh, no. we're, we're playing cards like <laughs> this is what people do on watch right <laughs> can i also do an investigation to see if they left like any crossbow bolts or any like weapons uh you don't need to make a check for that you'd, you'd be able to easily tell no they they packed up what they had um and that yeah there's there's really nothing left Typically, you have to kill them to loot them. <laughs> well, I was hoping maybe they'd just be outfitted with extras, you know? Right. Yeah, I gotcha. So, Aseo, stay away from the ledge. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I was playing Leapfrog. <laughs> <laughs> um, Icarus, with your 18, you are able to see um, that there is a small handful of beasts and people, I guess. You can't really tell if they're human or not, but humanoid, I suppose, people, um, down here at this large tent. And... Where's the large tent? To your south. Oh, okay. It's, it's a little okay. hard for you to actually see, but there's this, there's this torch Is here. Is that the torch? Yep, yep. got it's it. It's representing a small fire, actually. Um, it just... I just copied the torch token. So... You're able to see a, a small group of people around the outside of this tent. You are able to see that there's a very, very faint light coming out from inside the tent. 
and um, you are able to see a little bit farther south. I can't like reveal it, reveal it to you, but you're going to see a very tall, scaly looking person with a tail that seems to be antagonizing the prisoners down here. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm going to point out to Ulta, too, real quick. You know, I just realized that because, like, the, the kobolds didn't question us because they're not as smart, but also other people won't question us because they expect us to be dumb. We just say, oh, I thought someone told us to do this. You know, and they, they kind of just go with it because we're dumb. We don't know any better. Oh, look, we're changing the plan mid-operation. <laughs> Wait, we had a plan? <laughs> I'm just saying now that we're already in this form, I'm not saying we have to do anything with it. I'm just saying, you know, in case of emergency, it's a good excuse. Sorry, this is all my 10 intelligence gets me. No, I understand that. But my first poem was about you. Sorry, it's nine. It's minus one. <laughs> I have twice your intelligence. I was so dumb, I didn't even remember. <laughs> So, um, once they get within range again, um, or they get near the oh, I should ship this tower, place. then I suppose we'll climb down and meet them, and then you and I in cobalt <laughs> form can, um, maybe head into the part of the the camp that's like kind of a little bit more lit and do a little bit of a distraction and yeah give... we can walk a little bit ahead just because we're a little bit less assuming yeah and then let them do the sneaks into uh the cave i guess yeah we can start a cobalt fight if we need to yeah yeah done it before <laughs> well you did it but <laughs> anarchy <laughs> anarchy they haven't paid us our wait. Wait, they pay you? Oh, God. You guys are getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> the chaos rain. <laughs> oh, hey, we can almost see you. Hooray. I'm just yeah. standing outside the tower on the ledge that's a little bit higher, just staring in at you guys. With Another thing is that I literally eyes. have no idea if you guys are moving or not, so I'm just, like, in, in character and out of character, don't know what's happening. Can you see Leave me them. now? We We've been like right on the ledge that you guys were previously on. Oh, I see the edge of someone right there. We've been leapfrogging around the entire map. <laughs> All right, I'm on the edge. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you now. On the edge of glory. There it is. Hanging on a moment with you. <laughs> All right. Karaoke. I just like wave at them, trying to figure out what the hell they're doing because we don't know. Hey there. Hi. Hey, are we supposed to turn those guys in? <laughs> Acting like I'm totally not the kobold you know. <laughs> yep, the <laughs> giant kobold standing next to our friend Ulta with her teacup on her hip. Yeah, I'll just give uh. a wave and then start making my way down the ladder. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> Okay. Um, LSAO and Aster, mm -hmm. if we do want to go towards the cave, it's just a little bit further south. I think that yeah. direction is south. It is down on this yeah. map. Yeah, we're. <laughs> I'm, I'm ignoring all actual compasses oh. that are on maps because for whatever reason, sometimes they're like flipped a direction or two. So down is always south, up is always north, east and west accordingly. Um, All right. And, uh, geez, name's Juno. As you start uh, sort of leading, leading the group this way and peer down, you are able to see. You would be, you would be able to easily tell. Um, 300 foot dark vision. Langdadrosa Sinrath is here. <gasps> no. Let's and take him out. He, no. he has just finished 
Screw purple guy. Um, he's he's like slapping his tail on the ground, and basically yelling at one particular prisoner tied to the post. Is it Lysol? He then turns away and starts heading toward the cave with a person in purple armor. <laughs> it all comes together. <laughs> Like they're walking together. They're walking side by side or they uh this person came from the tent as Sinrath came from the prisoner and they are now heading into the cave. Okay, I try not to hold grudges, but he's bad. He's really bad. No one else might be, but he's bad. <laughs> okay, so uh just so you guys are aware, uh remember that blue son of a bitch that took out our friend Ulta? Mm-hmm. Of course. Uh, they just walked into the cave. I don't know that I particularly feel like cave. going in the cave right now. Wait, the blue guy's here? I thought we were yeah. looking for the purple guy. Yeah. Cyan Wrath and purple. Are here. Both are here. And they're both in the cave right Let's now. Let's just take out the whole rainbow. <laughs> Let's just... Can we collapse the mouth of the cave and trap them in there? Well, we don't know if the eggs are even in there yet, which is was our main concern before them. Make a... Make an intelligence check. Me? Who? No. Who which should one? make this? Uh, Eliseo, because oh, she asked the The one question. who suggested a plan. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 17. Uh, you would be able to tell that the... You know, as large as the opening of this cave is, it's probably it would probably be very difficult to do that, especially in a quick or sudden manner. Does anybody have like mold earth or like? Yeah, but that's only five okay. square feet, and that would be loud. I, yeah, I know. almost took something like that, but I decided I not to. Things. I don't need we're almost not even right there, now. So we're useless. What oh, we're still not with them. My bad. What if instead of, you know, going in the cave and collecting the eggs, we just say, ooh, guess we couldn't get that far. And we kind of cut our losses there, but we rescue those prisoners and True. leave. Yeah, prisoners is a good idea. Especially um, now that we know that the two powerful people are currently not in play, but they're in the tunnel. True. I do. So. Can we... Can we rescue the prisoners first and then investigate it? Because I do think these eggs are going to be very important to our cause. I think they will be too, but maybe it's like we take out a cart that has an egg on it rather than walk into a cave where we know nothing. And yeah. where two big guys are. Ulta yeah. and Icarus make a perception check. Sorry, I keep joining the conversation when I don't think we're together. No, you're fine. I rolled awfully. 14 for me. Ulta, you can just barely hear some snapping of twigs over here. Wow, this tower really doesn't help us see anything, does it? <laughs> so hearing the snapping of twigs, I am I will turn to Icarus and I will say, um, you know, bud, I think maybe you should head down. We keep up this facade of like, things are fairly normal over here so that people don't think that we're doing anything sketchy. You just mm -hmm. tell them I sent you for some dinner uh, see if you can get those folks, and I'll keep an eye out this way, because I just heard some stuff across the way, and I'm wondering if those kobolds or somebody isn't on their way back. We might need to... So are you I sending me to them or to the general population? I would say probably the general population to get the, get the people. Okay. Um, since I think maybe that could be you and I's thing, I don't know about the rest of them because I don't know where they're at. Should we just both ditch at that point, or? Well, I'm gonna keep my eyes on whatever I'm hearing out there. Keep an eye out for whatever I'm hearing, and then if I got a bolt, I'll bolt with. Okay. Hear me out. Start another kobold mutiny. I'll work on it, and I okay. start booking it down the ladder. <laughs> I don't even. I do the thing where I just put my hands on the side and slide down. Oh. I'm gonna um, splinters kind of all the way like, down. 
quietly shout and get some good cuts of meat. Just trying to like go with it, but I don't sound like a kobold. At all. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> you, a you are a kobold. Yeah, but I'm like not like a dragon type, so I don't know if that matters. I'm more like a lizard. Um, you. To be fair, you would be oh, able to tell that like there's a there's a good mix of. Okay. Quote, unquote, right, types well, then I'll just kobold. shout it, and just to kind of like go with the plan. Ooh, when in doubt, draw HP from the deck. Here we geez. go. That's the one. Oh, no. Four. We got a deck. <laughs> yes. I'm scared for our lives. Let's find Thank the deck. HP. I'm scared. Do decks target people, or is it just random? Uh, Thank depends you for on the, the card. Follow. Okay. Where is the deck of PPK's Shilly, many things? There it is. Shilly Toven Gador. Did I read that right? Thanks for the I, follow. I don't know, but thank you for the follow. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I'm just going to call Shilly. Is that fine? Can I just call you Shilly? <laughs> Maybe you just say it fast so it sounds like one word. Shilly Toven Gador. No, it's <laughs> chill it oven. Just okay, chill it. So I'm fine. Oven. Okay, here is our D twenty for the deck. Thanks, Coolio. He wants oh, us wait. to roll oh, last boy. eight with seven to eight being core dog and five to six being nipper. <gasps> oh, that's oddly specific. That's um, very targeted. Aster, uh, uh, Sir Heck, no cheating. Um, okay, I'm, I actually don't have it up. I, it's fine. Yeah, I, I trust that you're not going to cheat, but I, I, yeah. Um, for the for the GMs in the group, Dreadnought. Hey. Oh boy. That doesn't sound fun. Also, thank I you for the I follow. Cool EO one C. Oh yeah, last <laughs> HP's excited. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I know which one this is. Yeah. Okay. So carry on. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, I'm got you guys got any snacks? Because I'm just walking up to the people. Is my, I'm I hungry. don't even have dental. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what you need to do. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta start Cobalt Rebellion again. Shrek two references in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, if you're gonna make feed me see more jokes all the time, <laughs> I get <laughs> one Shrek. I'm just not even me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just walking down to the general population, making a making a ruckus. Okay, and where? Oh, you're here right now. Can I see my brother doing this? Yes, you can see. Perfect. I I was in the tower. I don't know if I go down the ledge or just across because I can't see very well up here. You you can kind of scoot along. Um, oh, along I see. Along the ledge. I see now. Well, that's down. That's way down. Oh. 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 Here is the ledge. You've fallen <laughs> down the cliff. It looked like yeah. a smooth transition, so I it, thought it was it okay. It does. It's kind of <laughs> deceiving. I'm going to put um, a darker... Hey, guys. Are you, uh... How you doing? Got snacks? That is a ledge. Oh. Where do I go down, then? Um... It's about 20, 25 feet down on all of these ledges. <laughs> Where did they go down then? They're up they here. They took the long way around. They went like all the way around. They're, they're over okay. here. I guess I'll follow their path to get to the general population. I'm saying like the kobolds path. Oh, they, they took the long way around. They, they basically backtracked the way you came and followed the cliff edge this way to get uh, to the, the main okay. entrance that you guys have seen. But you knew that we were coming up this direction I so that like, way we could come down by the cave entrance so like they we would went at least the know where gate. we were the kobolds yeah they went all the way back around juno you can see someone quickly coming from your north one one sure. person i guess I'll walk uh, it. does it look like my brother uh no you okay. you know that he's over here Wait, where'd Is you it go? the dreadnought? <laughs> I just, I just start moving down towards them. Okay, I'm gonna tell uh, Aster and LSAO. Come on, guys, we gotta go. We gotta okay. go. Come on behind us. Come on, okay. everybody. Everybody. <laughs> okay. I don't know where we can even the hide up here. Squirm. Oh, <laughs> um. Okay, I'm going to, you know. Uh, shit. Are those people in the cave yet? 
Yes, Arms. they're in the. I, sh I should okay. remove them. They're in the cave. I am so afraid. I am too. Uh, the, I, the only thing I know that's a dreadnought is the astral dreadnought, <laughs> <laughs> which can I'm, eat oh, us with no. Effort. Um, Ulta, you can now see that this person is familiar. He's waving at you. You can't yeah. quite make out who it is, but he's waving at you. I will motion to come in there. Thing. Come, come here. I'm just going to whisper up at Ulta. Ulta, how do I get down there? Climb down. Just down the Misty the step right now. Bamf down. <laughs> oh, just so start climbing down magic? the ledge. Like, aren't you magical? Yeah. Weren't you like, oh, I can teleport somebody? I'll just start climbing down the ledge, hoping I don't die. <laughs> Do you actually do that? Yeah. Yes. Oh, boy. Okay, so time out on that for a minute. <laughs> you are already on your way down as this is happening. Well, I don't know what's so, happening. Yep. Uh, so, Ulta, <laughs> the person that climbs up, and, and Icarus, by this point, you would be able to see that this there's another person here, and they're now climbing up uh, the ladder. Ulta, you can see that it is Nessim. Oh, Okay. How did right. he get here? Boy. Is he the bad guy now? How did he get here? He was the, the he was Monk's the Apprentice. Hey, you know he what? Monk's runner. Apprentices can be fast. <laughs> he was like, We also go, did take a nap for eight hours. Go right. find yeah. him for me. I can't do it. Juno goes thinking and over finds here. him. <laughs> hey, wisdom. Yeah, so I'm gonna. Uh... I'm gonna turn to him. I'm gonna say, like, listen, kid, did he teach you any magic? Can you make yourself not look like that? Um, he, he he's gonna be kind of breathing hard, clearly exhausted, um, and say he's he's been tracking you. I've been tracking you since you since a few hours behind. It seems that the folks you saved at the Temple of Trontea wanted me to try and help, so they healed me. You may or may not recall that he had like some pretty serious wounds yeah. from the raid. Um, so, Is there a new tank. <clears throat> Excuse um, you. <laughs> he's a monk, so I don't know. Look, um, our current tank is a wizard, so anything's better. <laughs> hey, I'm still here. Hey, <laughs> you're our yeah, DPS. I'm a pretty honey. decent melee too. So, you Ulta, DPS, he's going to continue. Not our tank. Have you seen Leosin? Is he here? Is he that guy? Um, Points. To I'm gonna say uh, you're not here, Niffer. Uh, <laughs> nobody is. It's just me and him. Exactly. And Icarus, like literally, momentum already oh. going downward. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna say yes. We uh, have eyes on him. I sent Icarus down to hopefully. I'd like get him. I'd like uh, to climb back up and scare Nessim, thinking I'm a bad guy. What? Okay, <laughs> you're gonna need to make an acrobatics check to see if you sort of like catch yourself on time to just backtrack. Okay. Nope. I don't. So I just keep going down. <laughs> hard. Yeah, she's pretty hard too with that natural one. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, uh oh. you're gonna have to fall. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh. As I watch that, I'm going to turn to Nisum and I'm going to say, this is why you use your fucking magic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could just... I'll misty step and land on the ground. Okay, you're going to misty step it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, now I'll make a, make a stealth check. Hopefully this is better. Okay. You are now here. Um, like on top of a pile of rocks that are, are clearly like chipped away from this cliff edge. Okay. It's just high enough and we'll say that there's like a boulder just big enough that you're able to crouch and be like mostly hidden with some confidence. Um, but you, you just like barely saved yourself from making a splat. <laughs> I have no idea how far that is, so I, that probably could have killed me. It's about 30 feet. It would have hurt. It wouldn't have killed you, but it would have hurt. It's a D10 per 
10 feet, I think. D6 or D6 per, per, per 10 feet, yeah. Well, I'll let them um, finish their conversation, but I'll just move inward afterwards. Okay, so that conversation has started. I'm going to flip to you guys over here for a hot minute. What are you doing for that 15, 20 seconds or so? Was the person following us Nissan? Nesim? You don't know. Okay. Um, Juno, you would have seen us? you would have seen that person go to the tower. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll let them know that they're in the tower. And if we hear Ulta scream, Ulta might be dead. <laughs> I'm gonna send um, Puff that direction so that I can look in case he's Okay. What do I make of this guy right here? Yep. That is one of the beasties that was helping the groups of raiders in Greenest. It's a kind of like a crocodile, dog. crocodile looking guy. Uh, you can make a nature check. Let's see if you, you definitely recognize the creature because you had seen it before, but this will be to see if you like know what it is. 16. Okay. Yep, it's it's a manner of Drake. Okay. It's, a, it's crawling on all fours. Um, it looks definitely. like I see a couple of them around camp. Yeah, you see you see a couple of them accompanied by um, actual humanoid people, sort of around the tent. These are these are the only two that you can see other than the prisoners down here. Okay, so that's where the prisoners are. Yes. Is there a is this a bad person that's with them? Or is it like a guard standing over them? That is one of the tied up people. You Perfect. would be able to tell with your 16 nature check. This is a person of elven persuasion. All right. Is that what we needed? Yes. Lit. So I'm going to tell the group that Half like we should continue down this way just a little bit further. Yep. And this is where we should make our descent in. Mm -hmm. And I'll be pulling out my Wait, rope as we're where'd walking. Oh, sorry. I lost my wife. I can see you guys forever. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go. Be Come, on. Uh, Come on now. Just little leapfrog. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Map is moving. Huh. It's weird. That actually moved our map when you pinged. It, yes. Yeah, I've never moves. seen that before. Oh no, I'm alone. It oh, moves I found everybody. You. <laughs> I wish it only moved my second point of view, so I apologize for that. Um, yeah. This way, we're kind of away from those drakies, too. But Sweet. Eventually, you, we'll need to drop a rope down. Yeah, so and become very you, visible. You would be able to. Yeah, you'd be able to tell for sure that you'd be very visible by this point. Like, there's a there's a pyre here, a wooden pyre that these guys are tied to, and. That's it. The rest of this is completely open space. But we have passed that trace. <laughs> we do. What are you talking about? What if we try to drop in oop, oop. over here behind these tents? So at least gives us some, but then we risk the interacting with other people. Yeah. Um. So I did plop other campfires around the map, if you scroll around, you should be able to see them. Um, it is it is notable that there is not one here. I cannot see them. I see two. I, I see one. It's because of the way, like, dynamic lighting will yeah. block out some of them. Yeah, it'll, it'll block um, some of them And they're, like, out. behind a tent, so you can't see, like... Oh, okay. Yeah. But, um, but there's do, none over here, so this have is a nice dark height. place. So I will, I will tell you that one is, like, way over here, your northwest. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's the closest one other than the one at this tent, the big tent. The rest of them are even farther away than that. Okay. Spouse, come this way. Yes. Hi. Oh, Thank you for leading me. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost. I'm sad puppy. I'm going to start slowly getting down and moving my way over. Okay. Uh, this is interesting. Split party on a stealth mission. Die. This is fine. It's what um, Ulta told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> and she's the brains of the two of us. That's actually <laughs> fair, though. <laughs> well, I guess kind of I am. Yeah, is your intelligence above a nine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you may not want to be, but you are. 
Oh, this is great. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go back to Ulta and Nessim. So there, there's a little bit of catch up time now for talking. So yeah. I, I forgot, I apologize. He, he asked you if you saw Leosin. I'm just yeah. holding my knife in panic right now. I want you all to know. I'm gonna point over my shoulder and I'm gonna say, yeah, we got eyes on him. Uh, I said, I sent the muscly one down to get him. That's Icarus? He's in good hands. Yeah. <laughs> I We're was hoping wait. to help so we could take him back. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Good on you. Um, well, we don't know what we're doing yet. Because I think things are changing, friend. And I'm going to turn and just, like, look and watch for Icarus. <laughs> to see if I can nice. see what Smash is cut happening. to Icarus. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got nothing. I got like to... Change. Be lightly whistling, like, just like strolling. <laughs> oh, you're um, still a kobold, okay. Yeah. yeah. I can my way downtown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's part of my cover. I'm not just walking in dumb. I'm walking in less dumb. Um, <laughs> and does it, like, half my movement or anything to get off these rocks? Or, like, I don't know how high these are. Or it's it just, it's another it's just under 10 feet to get down. You you would have to kind of scoot, but you don't need, like, a straight-up acrobatics okay. check. Okay, so, yeah. so there's... I know there's the cave is a little bit down, and I don't want to be super obvious, like, investigating, so I'll just, like, walk a little bit this way. Oh, gosh, this is getting confusing. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> right, I'm just going to look for some people, I guess. Um... Um, so from so from what you can tell, uh, panic. There, there's nobody. <laughs> like these are the only f visible folks to you. Uh, the ones that are you, on the pyre. Uh, no, the the oh, okay. five. Is it five? Yep, the five figures around the big tent, and then uh, just barely from the flickering of firelight, you can see the the folks tied to the pyre. Were there um, people or just dogs down there? You can you can see shadows of several creatures on all fours and several creatures on hind legs. All okay, fours. I'll actually walk over there then and, and plan to converse. <clears throat> okay, as soon as you get close, this creature is going to quickly come toward you, and they'll they'll move in like a rotation, and this one is just going to growl at you. Oh shit! And this dude will come over with a, a intentional distance behind that one and say, "Oi! I don't know you." Back from the tent. Oh, sorry. I, I was just—I I forgot where I was going. I was wondering if you could help. I—I'm just looking for my meal. The filth tents are that way, and he's oh, going to point you. to your northwest. Thank you, sir. Uh, <clears throat> Ma'am, sir. I'll, I'll just go that way then. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll move a few steps away so that I don't get attacked. <laughs> I, you know, I really want to make you do a check for that, but you are the bard in, like, full, <laughs> legit disguise. So I think that would be a cheap shot. That's so good. I, yeah, the, that's the just going to work. The thing that concerned work. me was that with the dogs, it might not smell like a kobold. I know, but the... the um, <laughs> cool. It's not... I think it, I can it is a consideration a but... small smell, and I'll try to make myself smell <laughs> dirty. Um, yeah, Just, that's yeah. You, an odd I mean, odor. you could notice that in character, and then, you know, notice that they didn't really. Yeah, I'll do just anything. let out some rotting meat smell, you know. <laughs> Just hoping it throws the dogs off my trail, you know. Okay. Um, and I'll I'll start walking the other way because I realize I get done got messed up. <laughs> Hey, though, he referred to them as the filth tents, so that's, like, valid grounds for making a rebellion. Yep. Kobold mutiny. All they feed us is this filth! <laughs> Ain't had nothing but mega egg bread. God, I don't know where I'm going. It's so dark here. <laughs> Nobody finished my quote. Now I'm sad. You are disguised as a kobold. Actually, no, your dark vision wouldn't change if you were actually a kobold. So. Yeah. It is the same. Yeah. Um, I, okay. I'm sure that's enough time that it should be someone else's turn. <laughs> Cut it, yeah, cutting over to these guys now. 
Okay. You, uh, Juno, at the very least. Actually, all three of you. Juno, with a little bit more clarity because of your actual, uh, your actual vision. The rest My of you, balls. yeah. Uh, the rest of you, a little bit because of the light. You would have seen, um, Icarus <laughs> as a kobold sort of climb down from this ledge up here, and then approach these guys, and they like made a semi-aggressive move toward him, but he ended up walking away. You wouldn't have been able to hear any of the conversation. I have sent my owl above to uh, try and get more eyes on them. Okay. Um, can you ping where you would like the owl to go? Yeah. Right there. Okay. Right there, please. Um, higher, higher up, like at your level, down lower by the ground. What are you thinking? He, he has dark vision out to 120 feet, so he can be higher up. But okay. he can still see. Okay. Uh, have Are you looking for anything, in, excuse me, in particular or just... Yes, the nonsense that my brother-in-law is currently performing. <laughs> I'd like to point out I'm a big, buff, pink kobold. Awesome. Um, okay, so <laughs> make, a, make a perception check for him. Sorry, an investigation check. Yeah, I guess it could be either. Pick one. Whichever one you're going to be better at. Which one? Either Investigation one. or perception? Yes. That's a 16, please. Okay. So as you're getting to here, you can definitely clearly see through Puff's eyes that this is a half-elf person. Um, there are four other people here. All of them are varying degrees of physically beat up and completely worn down. Um, like malnutrition, exhaustion, yeah. that sort of thing. You would be able to also notice that this guy in particular is easily of the most physically harmed. Then you would also have seen up here that the these uh, drakes mm -hmm. are basically like pacing in a pattern from where the northernmost one is to about here, and mm -hmm. just making that sort of like semicircle around the tent, cool. with these two dudes just kind of holding their spots. Cool. Other than that, and Icarus moving away, there is like zero other activity or movement that you can see. Cool. I'm looking at Aster and Juno, what are we doing? Are we getting uh, down? My sweet, could you just bamf down? Uh, Aster, if you, earlier you talked about becoming a bug. Good. Maybe you're a bug who rides on my shoulder while I descend down, so that way at least it's only one of us that would be visible in our descent. Why are you down? Three people going down a rope. I could I fly you down. That's also true. You because could fly me in a bug down. Your wings glow, just so you know. Oh yeah, your wings are Shoot. lit. <laughs> My Never wings mind. are lit. I could, you know, turn into something that could easily climb down without. Any yeah. Type of issue. Be a giant ape. Well, no, a tell. I could, out of game. You guys have seen me become a giant spider that does have spider climb. Yes. Be that. Yeah, be the spider again. Plus, that was sick. A plus seven to stealth, so it'd be sick plus nasty. Plus sick nasty, bruh. <laughs> that was another poem, everyone. I hope you liked it. <laughs> oh my God. I was really hoping when you were like, uh, oh, my dear spouse, I was like, is it my poem time? <laughs> Spiders are sick <laughs> and really spooky. Did you just make sick two syllables <laughs> to be a hive? And really spooky too. <laughs> oh my god! For those of you just joining stream, we Especially have because a bad you. table that is making <laughs> our cleric here talk in bad poetry. So that's and what bad we're nonsense. About. And a whole <laughs> slew of ideas came flowing people. through the Discord not too long ago. Yeah, so. I'll I'll read you one that I found. Everyone, this, uh, <laughs> my sweet, if you could bamf down, I can't find my shoes. Oh wait, they're in the toaster. Bubble baths are cool. What's a toaster? A cannon now. Toasters are cannon. <laughs> 
Oh, boy. Okay, so should I become a spider when you guys think? <laughs> yes, We're having a moment, yeah. and you're yeah. like, can I just... I think a spider would be a great a spider? idea. That'd be great. Can you carry okay. two people as a big spider? Uh, or can you carry one, the and then someone can misty step? Or... And I will misty step, oh. fine, yes. Yes, I can. Oh. As long as it's a thirty giant wolf spider or less. So it's you can also just um, jump and then catch and the end in your step. Well, I could probably That's what do I did. one. <laughs> I will misty step and then leap, apparently. Okay. What how, how far is it down? About thirty feet. Sweet. That's that's misty step. I can do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. I will misty step, please. I mean I can just do my best to sneak down. No, just ride With the spider. Rope. Ride the spider. I, I don't want to crush the spider. Well, I am a lighter that big. and smaller. I don't want to crush the spider. I don't know. I guess that's a question for the GM. Yeah. How would one ride a spider down a cliff? Um, The spider is a uh, size category large, right? It's uh, a giant spider. Size category medium, actually. Oh. Yeah. Ultimate. That's why I don't think I can. I could ride it. Ulta could ride, but Ulta's yeah. not here. So Horses are medium too, aren't they? Being centaurs are medium creatures. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me C check. Centaurs are rideable medium creatures. <laughs> Just gonna point that out. Save a horse, ride a centaur. Ride a centaur. I, I, I want to say that's like just a straight up flaw nope, like in it. the mounting rule. What if? You Those make some medium. spider web and you just send the web Freedom. down and I just hold <laughs> like on to the hammock. web and I just ride some web. Did you just Hang ask on. her I'm to make a fan of this plan, so I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna like work with you guys here, Yay. but I'm legitimately interested. Cool. What yeah. if she just cool. Cool. what if she shoots a web it? down there and then you jump into it like it's a net to catch you? Yeah, make a trampoline. <laughs> We're just gonna make a spider web <laughs> trampoline. Launch you further into the camp. Spider webs work, okay? Things that are not the spider get stuck to the web. Well, she gets stuck <laughs> yeah, in it, but then... safely at the bottom. Yeah. That's why I'm. No, You'll get this is why I, and think, I hang realize, on to like one piece. Do you realize how long? Do you realize how long it takes to make spider web, guys? No. <laughs> Um, You're talking okay, to so like was, a legitimate um, scientist about this, so I feel like she knows. Spiders can cast the web spell, though, can't they? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, okay, so here's here's what we're gonna figure out. We're gonna what if we we're just gonna like trust talk through this. And I catch the, you. Uh, Aster, what is your strength stat as a spider? As a spider, it's twelve, so a plus one. Okay. So I'm gonna say. Because of the size category thing, like, here's, I'm going to think out loud. Yes, please. Horses uh, and, and I guess, centaurs, because they're in that discussion, like, their anatomy lends itself to being ridden by equal or smaller creatures, equal size or smaller creatures. Outside of that type of animal, we'll count, like, elk in there, too. Outside of that type of animal is where I, I understand where the whole size category mm -hmm. rule comes into play. But because of the creativity here and the fact that I fucking love it, um, <laughs> I'm just going to say that you need to make uh, an acrobatics check as a spider carrying one person at a time. Um, the DC is going to be 17. Okay, so and then you, you have said acrobatics. Two. Do you want me to do acrobatics or athletics? Because that's going to be a difference. Um, well, typically for climbing, acrobatics is what's used. Okay. So. Like, that's fine, because that's actually the higher number. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. We picked the right creature for the job. <laughs> if I get okay. dropped on my head, I can just heal myself. I am I have yeah, okay. Misty stepped down there, and just in case, I just have my arms out like this. It sounds like, <laughs> sister, Ooh, it sounds like you don't you understand what? the concept of pain. It still <laughs> hurts, <laughs> even if you can fix it. Um, this is so what we're wonderful. Going to do, can I also, can I also have, like, hugged the spider and cast Guidance? <laughs> I can do that. I was Absolutely. about to cast Bless if it would have helped, but it and doesn't. 
Master, don't I you have a plus two you. already? Or advantage? I have advantage from chat, so I think I'm gonna use that if this goes poorly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this is this is Juno. Oh, just Juno, right? Because Alessio just decided Juno. to I'm already, misty step. I'm misty stepped, and I'm at the base, and I am waiting with my okay. arms out just in case. Okay. All right, let's just see what happens. And I'm hugging you with a <laughs> loving, confident energy. Seventeen, 17. exactly. <laughs> Didn't even need the need guidance. It, it. Didn't even need the advantage. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay, so you get yeah. your spider legs going, and you decide to to do the like head first thing as spiders do, and like one of your back legs slips a little bit, and you like sort of nudge your your what's the butt the butt the butt <laughs> thorax thorax is the middle i, I prefer yeah. you say middle. butt okay the spider <laughs> butt you like you nudge your spider butt. butt against the the wall here to sort of catch yourself and then your other seven legs compensate as well so you're able to get down um lsao by the time they get down there you are able to tell that the cluster of tents near you is very, very quiet, and there is zero light going on. So now Why? all three of you are down there. They're dead. Um, Ulta, we're going to come back to you again. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to turn to Nisam, and I'm going to say, like, so I'm going to ask again, friend, any chance you know any, like, magic or anything helpful at all no uh i'm very good with my hands and he'll just kind of like make fists and give you an awkward smirk um but then he also says uh from what i can tell we probably shouldn't do that i'm i'm hoping we can just kind of sneak him out correct yeah yeah so um mm -hmm. you got it um, and I'm gonna explain our very haphazard plan that I can kind of see falling apart and not going quite the way we thought it would go. <laughs> um, and I'm going to tell him and explain, like, so I sent Icarus down. Hopefully he gets to, um, Lysol. Yep. In Lysol in. I can't remember his name. So Lysol. Lysol. Thank you, corn dog. Lysol. Getting there. Lysol Erlenmeyer. Lysol Erlenmeyer. <laughs> um, Later, but and then, uh, and then hopefully he'll get him untied with everyone else. Maybe start like a little bit of a cobalt riot. We'll hold the fort here. Maybe set up, um, you know, maybe a, a good exit strategy for him. Maybe we, you and I, can start fashioning some ropes. How about that? That sounds good to me. As you okay. guys are wrapping up that little exchange, Icarus, we're going to flip back to you for a minute. You would notice that there is, a, there is a noticeable flare-up of fire to your northwest. And North. the... Yeah, like, like west-northwest, way this direction. Um, and at the same time, the guy who just yelled at you to get away from the tent is going to chime back up at you and say, looks like it's time to go anyway. Get packing. You know what the drill is. Oh no. Oh no. I'll be like, oh, yes sir. Oh. And I'm gonna start booking up for where I think the meal tent is and I'm gonna try to start a riot. The meal <laughs> tent? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the dirty food tent that he was talking about. The filth tent. Oh, the He's filth just talking tent. about honey. He was talking about kobolds. <laughs> He was talking yeah. about you, yeah. your people. He's a yes. racist, honey. Yeah. Well, that doesn't change honey. my plan. I'm going to go there, <laughs> and I'm going to start a riot. Yes, good. <laughs> I'm proud of you. No amount of preparation could have gotten me to this point. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. And I already, <laughs> I already know I won't have to make a check. <laughs> Always be prepared for kobold riots. Um, perception oh. check, Icarus. Okay. Nine. Why am I? Oh, I have a plus two. Eleven. I'm using okay. it. I need to do well on this. Um, I need to find the filth tent. There are only a couple of people in these tents. You would be able to tell just passing them by. They're probably not kobolds. Okay. Um, and you are able to see tents on fire. 
over here. On fire? On fire. They started the riot before we could. Oh. Well. Can I make it that way and see what's happening? I'm going to give you, what is it? Because we've done like a amount of seconds, not a amount of rounds. So I don't know how far I can make it. Yeah, there's been enough conversation that I, I would say you could get to here and have like one Q&A with me for like checking for something or like do something as if it was like one or two rounds. Okay, first impression, are there any kobolds? Like, do I see anyone? Um, no check needed. Yes, there are several kobolds. I'll, I'll start putting tokens out as needed okay. in a minute, but uh, it's very clear to you, they are setting their own tents on fire. Okay, my plan is to find a big group of them or find someone that looks like a lead kobold. Okay, there's definitely no lead kobold. All right, well. <laughs> that means you're the lead kobold. The leader, I'm the lead kobold. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was just because my spells only target one person, so. Sad, but. Oh, I did not want to do that. Arson? Is that what you didn't want to do? Because no, you're doing it, buddy. No, there was a different thing that moved. Why, are, why is that moving? There we go. Okay. There's like one right here, one right here, and here. Um, you can see uh, dynamic lighting might be kind of funky, but there's a total of four kobolds. Two of them are kind of in this space right here. The one you can see in the light right here, and then another one I over can't here. See anything. Oh, you, you oh. definitely can't. You're way oh, too okay. far away. Um, just Icarus can see. I mean, the rest of you would be able to see by now that there's more fire than there was before. But that's about it. Um, Icarus, you can see these four guys starting to set their tents on fire. And then after a little bit more time, you can see some more um, this direction as well starting to do the same. Okay, so I I have a few things running through my head here. I'm going to go to the first group. I'm going to say, hey, guys, what's going on? Time to go. Where are we going? Why are you lighting your tents on fire? Burn the evidence. That's the instruction we were given, and I don't want those fucks hitting me again. Um, and did we talk about how subtly casting spells could work, or is it just, like, not? It depends on the type of spell you're casting. Um, between verbal, somatic, and material components, you're using a focus, so that's not in the picture. But you would be, you would be like, making wavy things with your hands and, like, saying a command word or chanting. Okay, so it would so be this one's... fairly obvious. So this one's verbal and material, so that would be obvious, right? I'm sorry? It, this one's verbal and material, so that would be obvious, probably? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to say, that that stupid guy over there with the drinks was treating me like shit. I say we fight back. <laughs> I don't want to go. I like it here. And he's making me feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> he called us filth. Did you hear that? Yeah, Fail. he tends to do that because, uh, well, you know, that's kind of what we are. Make a persuasion check. This is going to be hard. Please. Mom, you buddy. Have from Use all your bonuses. Start this kobold rebellion. Okay. I got us. I don't have any other bonuses because that's all I oh, have. We're over here. Six, sorry, six, sorry, six, chat. Eight. I got to remember to keep doing this. Quick, chat, give him some bonuses before we make the call. <laughs> chat, help. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, that's a definite no. Um, they're, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, like, attack you or anything, but they're just gonna respond. Man, you know we can't take them, even in our numbers. Just do what, what? you're told, and we'll get paid in a few days when we get back. I, I'm just gonna look kind of upset, but just that one, he's really mean. Yeah, <laughs> have you ever fought him? Has no, Icarus used but... your plus two? You have I did. Two, right? I used yeah. it so we get the perception. You, you see what that's he did, right. that other kobold in the town? I'd rather no, keep my face. But... Oh, God. Well, what if we fight someone else? <laughs> I just want to I just want to prove a fight. point. <laughs> Icarus, you went from light everything on fire to maybe just blow it up to anarchy in the ranks and everything is on fire. And I'm Holy not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy. <laughs> not enough 
Oh, oh suddenly voice arson hurts. isn't <laughs> enough in one Her session. Her cold voice hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of hurt. Got to yeah. practice at it a little bit. Um, things I definitely don't do in the shower. Well, um, I don't know about you guys, but I'll do it alone if I have to. Ugh. I just really like the face that you have to make to make this voice, too. Oh, man. <laughs> this is great. If um, my brothers won't stand with me, I'll stand alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is great. <clears throat> okay, more more small fires are popping up uh, around you as... Other kobolds are clearly lighting their own tents on fire. Um, back to this group down here. Uh, oh, yeah, we were doing something. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, do we see the fires coming up? You can You can definitely see the increase in fire activity to your northwest. You can make a perception check. I would like to just assume that it's Icarus lighting things on fire and not. You are make a perfectly check. welcome to do that. <laughs> yeah, I actually think that I would believe that too, as Juno. Okay, so as that's um, happening, you guys are going to notice that these two, these two dudes, to your north, are going wait, to uh, up here. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, you should be able to see them at least a little bit because of this. Yes. This little fire. Sort of. Um, I can see him just fine. You yep. know what? They're also doing the same. So now you can definitely see they're lighting their own tent on fire. Okay. That's uh, a tent, not the prisoner pyre, though, right? Correct. correct. But we don't know if they're going to come over here. I think we just need to get them untied right now. Yep. I think we just look it over agree. and try to get these prisoners out of here. Yep. Let's go. Okay. Let's you're, go. you're making a move on the pyre right now? Yep. Well, they're distracted and burning their own tent. Okay, make yes. a stealth check then. Okay. Please. <laughs> you know, is the uh, yes, I true. I dice or because spin, you're. By the way. Okay. I just uh, want to throw out. I had the option to take invisibility this level and didn't. Uh, we're gonna make a stealth, and you know, I'm still just gonna be a spider. One, two, nine. Why not? Uh, this is all still plus ten. Yeah, um, assuming it hasn't you been can an hour. Because you can keep it, yeah. Twenty. If, if it has, that's fine. Nope, I'm using my plus two on that. A uh, twenty-two. I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> I'll use one of my plus two. Wait, how do you have a twenty-two? You 31. have a plus ten. You have a plus ten. I, I know. I rolled a seven. All right, so oh. nope, I yes, rolled an it's, eight. Oh, it's a I can do bonus. Okay. I rolled an eight plus two plus uh, ten, plus twenty plus two, twenty-two, and I'll be at thirty-one. Uh, Twenty-nine. Okay. Um, you guys are able to get to the pyre without being noticed, um, and this dude, as you guys approach, like he was facing you. Um, so as you guys approach, you can see that he's like hunched over with his arms behind his back. Uh, you saw oh. earlier that he was tied to this this pyre uh, along with four other people. And he's he's like half conscious and then all of a sudden is gonna like get wide eyed as soon as you start approaching. And like behind him, like where are the other people and um, yeah, kind of like the finger on the mouth, and then I'm just going to reach forward as we're going and cast Healing Word at him. Nice, okay. Because if this is the half-elf that I'm hoping it is... Uh, oh yeah, we have a giant spider with us. That's going to be not intimidating at all. But there's an angel and a really pale elf. We yeah, have a spider and an terrifying. angel. <laughs> Listen, we I have... rolled a 29. I can just be un seen to everybody <laughs> that's true <laughs> actually like they could just not see me they hear the here. like the click clacking but i have no idea where it's from just this cautious spider noise is like yep okay this is fine um one two three four five as you guys are doing that these guys just start walking and at this point um things have been happening long enough that you're able to tell most likely it seems like the other tents around you in the like immediate area <clears throat> excuse me are empty um or at least nobody's been moving 
or doing anything. So this tent is on fire. Um, uh -huh. Ulta, we're going to come back to you and Nessim because, sorry, that was a long time. I'm tracking three splits here, or two splits. Yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. I, I actually did expect that kind of thing to probably happen. I just got so to us. make sure I'm keeping track. So Let's Ulta and, and Nessim, he would definitely notice, like, whoa, they're lighting their own tents on fire. And uh, he'd point at this one and say, that group's breaking off. Is is this where he is? Uh, I didn't see where that was pinged to, because I don't know if... Way to the... your south. I guess you can't really see much. You, you just see shadows, so you wouldn't really be able to yeah. tell that people are down there. Or that your people are down there. I'm sorry. Yeah, I will... Um... I will tell him that. I'll just be like, listen, man, I don't have the best seeing in the dark, so this is what we're going to do. You and I are going to... You got any rope on you? Did you bring anything with you? Yeah, yeah. Have... And he'll he'll cool. reach into his pack and pull out um, a, a rather large bunch of rope. Sweet. Okay. This is what we're going to do. I got 50 feet. You got what looks to be maybe 50 feet. We're going to drop a few ropes off these cliffs to help our friends get up in some various places. So I need you to hightail it back the way you came and right around that turn, like over, you know, a little bit north of here, drop a rope down because I have a feeling they're going to be heading north. I'll drop a couple over here. Holy we'll shit, this is really elaborate. Can you, can you like draw, <laughs> draw a couple shapes or mark a little, little X's where you're trying to drop some rope? here and I can't without moving my token because I'm can I move my token to show you where else I'm thinking yeah, yeah um so the grid's Oops, kind of funny <laughs> back to the pointer tool um so I forgot to tell you guys because the grid is a little funny for this map um you guys will always snap to the upper left corner of whatever square you move to if you hold alt before you let go of your token it it will ignore the grid that's good to know. Okay, and then I was thinking, like, one over here. Hang on. Like, over here. Okay. And then... Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm bad at the, at the free hand. Can you erase that, friend? Sure. No, I mean, it is what it is if you don't. Um... And then... Wiggly rope. <laughs> Good luck climbing that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and then one here, maybe? Okay, so how many ropes do you have and what length? Well, I have... Uh, tw God, bless America. Uh, I have 50 feet of rope, so two of them will be mine, and then I assumed one of them would be his. Because I don't know how long his rope is. Right. It, it's about as long as your longer one. Um, or you said you had two 50-foot ropes? One 50-foot rope. So two 25-foot from, 25 foot from me. So Got it. And then I assumed he had at least one 25-foot rope. But I yeah, he's know. he's got a, another 50-footer. Um, okay. So while you and him are spending the time to place these ropes... Um, Icarus, you would definitely notice that these guys are, like, marching this direction. Um, Drake's in front. It's, I shouldn't say marching. They're not really marching. They're just kind of casually walking this direction. Strolling? Um, yeah, they're strolling, ch sort of checking around, making sure, like, waving their fingers, pointing and looking at all the fires that are being set now. Um, as they pass this group of tents, you would see that other folks... Uh, started to get out and set their tents on fire. And they are definitely not kobolds. Um, okay. But rather, they resemble the cultists that you've seen before. So I'm going to start plopping some of those guys here. Oh, my God. The map is moving. It's what you get. Yep. We're not letting us start a kobold rebellion. <laughs> Come 
on now, map. I even I even was a crying kobold. Oh my god, did it not come out of my eyes? Did the, did the tears come from above my head? <laughs> I, was, I, I can control the illusion, right? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like those questions. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, one. It's like... Three, four, and fires. Yay. Okay, so what are you doing now? Can you ping where the Drake guy is? Just so... I'm like planning my route right now. The Drake guy? Yeah, like the guy that was with the Drakes. Like he was over here. The one here. that hurt your feelings? Yeah, the oh, one that hurt my feelings. Right here. <laughs> oh, he's all the way up to me now. Yep. Okay. Um, is he like looking right at me? Like, would he question? No, he's not. He, they're, okay. they're both not paying any specific attention to any individual I'm going to start trying to move back down then since he's moving okay like, b back the way i came and my goal is to look for something coming like it's made its way out of the cave whether it's like a cart carrying something or like because my my next thing is like oh if we're moving are the eggs moving and are there eggs even there so i'm moving back that way keeping my eyes peeled and trying to like I don't need, necessarily need to hide, but I don't want to draw any attention. Like, I didn't want him to yell at me, but... Okay. And if anything, I'll be like, just check it in. Make a performance check. Okay. Because you're trying to act in a uh, not inconspicuous way. So, that yeah, you're a... you're just kind of shuffling around and, you know, you're, you're in the kobold zone. Just sort of like you, you're picking up a few things and like throwing it at a tent, and like pretending you're contributing yeah. to the uh, clear destruction that's now happening. Um, but you you also now have a good sense of the less talking you do, the better off you probably are. Wink. Um, <laughs> that's not aimed at you, Hyacinth. That's aimed at Icarus. Um, <laughs> so you're you're able to do that without anybody raising any sort of suspicion mm -hmm. toward you. Um, I would say you get another like full full round of movement wherever you're intending to go. You said you were looking for like anything yeah, that might be to, carrying the eggs. Yeah, like trying to move back towards the cave entrance, which I can't exactly tell. I I don't remember. He probably could be it's, able to retrace his steps. It's this direction, but. yeah. So the, the dotted line that you're currently at is a ledge, so you had to climb down uh, a little bit ago in order to get to this level. And oh, now you'd okay. have to sort of climb back up. It's short enough that you don't have to do any sort of, like, check. Um, but that is a, a difference in elevation. And okay. by this point, I'll just scoot you here to, to make sure that okay. this is accurate enough. Um, by this point, you'd be able to tell that the only beings you've seen uh, go away from this area are that group of drakes and, like, more heavily armed guys. These folks are sort of still tending to making sure things are on fire. And now you'd be able to sort of tell that there are not tied up people over here approaching the okay. prisoners. Okay. And now we're going to shift to you guys. What are you we're doing actually... over there? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> we're going to actually take another super quick break. <laughs> I was at the most stressful part. <laughs> All right, we're back. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a couple new developments at this point. Um, I'm con currently confirming that all tokens are where they should be. That this is does, the boss fight. Does look like it's the case. Um, actually, Ulta, you you would see that these four are now. No, not not that. Okay. You over. One, two, three, four, are now moving away from their blazing tents. Um, and so between the light of all of the fire that's happening, you guys can clearly see that like everything, this this big tent is like full on on fire. This group is full on on fire. And then like everything west, northwest of here is definitely on fire with the only exception being the small towers. Um, so, Juno, 
you for sure would be able to have seen Ulta and another person that you don't, you wouldn't be able to tell who it is had dropped a rope here. Uh, make a perception check. I can do that. Do, 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 do. Perception. Fifteen. Yeah, so you, you can see that Ulta had, or maybe you wouldn't really be able to tell that it was her, but there's a rope here now. <laughs> And yeah, my passive is higher than that, so if it was, like, something oh, that I noticed is? while running. Then. Okay, yeah, you, you'd definitely be able to see that they're, like, over here now, too. They did not bring the torch with them. I was like, the torch just went away. Yeah. But, yep, I can see over there anyway, so. So you, you can tell that your, your friends up yonder are up to something. All right, I'm just going to keep running towards these people and yeah, pull same. out my hand axe and just start hacking away at their... Uh, rope. I got okay. so scared for a second. Um, I'm not murdering walk. anyone right now. <laughs> <laughs> are what you the... are you going to try to undo Can it or are you going to try to just break it? I am going to attempt to break the rope. Strength check. Excellent. I totally leveled that up. Yeah. DM, um, yes. I, while we're dropping ropes, when I come back over to the um, tower, can I just ready an action with my crossbow? Absolutely. Just kind of like, as if I'm like keeping an eye on their back. I won't go up the tower necessarily, just like on the edge standing at the ready maybe, not necessarily. Okay. Um, what is your, sorry if you said this, what specifically is your trigger for firing at someone? Um, if I see, because you said I can see them now, right? Who exactly is them? Your friends? Yeah. Yes. Like, I, okay. I'm keep, so I just have my eyes on them, and if anyone comes at them aggressively, then I will shoot. Okay. Yep. So, like, any. I, I believe that would be at disadvantage because of the range, but it is within the range. What's what's the cross? Your, it's a light crossbow? Three hundred twenty. Maybe move like a little bit closer that way. Closer this way. Perfect. Now try. Eighty. Yeah, three twenty at disadvantage. So okay. you you would be within the range for a disadvantage shot. That's fine. Yep. I'll take it. I'll just still ready it, just in case. Okay. Um, and I will tell my little friend when he gets back to the tower as well um, to just stay close. Oh, okay. Be mindful of your surroundings. Punch something if you need to. I'm um, so afraid that he's the dreadnought and he's going to murder us all. <laughs> I, I, I've been thinking that this whole time. Um, <gasps> Do we have to fight Lane Dragosa? Is that the dreadnought? Another forced fight? No, that that person's no. asking about the duel in greenest. Yep. It was Ulta. Yeah. She actually she did she did great. She yeah. lost, but she did great. But she's still alive. <laughs> <gasps> Pony's here. Oh snap! Oh. Pony in the house. Oh, what is fifteen? Pony. That's He'll make everything better. Oh god. What do you want, I feel buddy? Like that's a good and a bad. Is that a bad and a good, or is it three goods? Yes, three oh, goods. Three goods. Happy <laughs> Tony? Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was that was a terrifying Cecil, moment. We were all crying in you. character, Cecil. Cecil is Cecil. I'm, this is I, my favorite thing, is that we just have to try and pronounce people's names now. Oh yeah, we now hate oh, Simon Rath. Oh yeah, yeah we hate Simon Rath. We're, we're gonna end him. We're, yeah. we're gonna I, I want to kill him here and they don't want me to. <laughs> Well, he's I, in the cave look, now. I want you to. I um, just don't think it's going to Aster, Eliseo, Icarus, D100s, please. <gasps> oh, Yay. gosh. Okay. I'm going to use my dice from my dice knife. Seven. Oh, it's behind the corner of my screen that I cannot see. Ninety. Forty-four. For all of Side you note, guys for new that people, are look at this. new to chat and new to TPK, so what's happening is 
donations can actually affect the overall running of the game. So what Tony just did was tipped uh, $5 each for three what we call good tables. Good tables. So they're good effects that can happen to a random member of the party. So uh, yeah, three and of us are going to get something interesting rolled and on what I've been hundred tables, about. so we'll see. <laughs> What I'm freaking out about is a deck of TPK things which got drawn earlier and still yeah, hasn't been resolved. <laughs> and now I am a panic. I feel like <laughs> Magic really enjoys just like letting things simmer for a while and just seeing what we do. I, I call it he the knows. squirm. It's it's the party oh, squirm. It's very and effective. Every DM loves it. And it's like I literally am not doing anything. Just watching. You guys do everything to yourselves, and it's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so we had a 44. I, I missed four. the other two. Oh, a seven. So, they're heck. Let's see what we got. Uh, the effect got? believes everything to be a conspiracy. Oh, no. Who was that? Is that a good table? That is Sir Heckalot. Oh no, that's a bad. That's a bad. And I was like, wait, was like, yeah, like, that that's good? not a good. <laughs> I was like, that's not. I was like, that could ruin my character. <laughs> um. Okay. So the fire around you feels comfortably warm. I'm I'm changing it from water to fire because there's no water here, but there's plenty of fire. Um. Comfortably warm. You gain resistance to fire damage, and you are not negatively affected by heat. Oh my the rest gosh, of this a session. spider just running through. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so excited yes. for that nightmare. Yes. Well, resistance, uh, not we immunity, want... so I know. be careful. Uh, fine. <laughs> still, it but works. I'm still you going know to be what? terrifying. I'm going to make it immunity. Do the flaming spider juggernaut of death, please. Yes. <laughs> I'm making an immunity. Okay, yes. Alisa, yes. what was your number? 90. You 90. are so good to us. I like having fun. Tell me what the dreadbot does. Uh, okay, you. Uh, I'm gonna have to be creative here. Oh, good. Uh, Tell us. Let's try it. You see, you it. see a reflection in the flames. Ooh. It is not of you. It is of Juno. Of course it is. Um, you can cast sending <gasps> up to five times to Juno. Heck yeah. Okay, and then... It's going to be bad poetry. Icarus had a 44. Is this forever or just the rest of the session? The rest of this session. Um, okay. Icarus, nice. Useful. as you reach out and... Okay, uh, you can touch the fire. Um, the fire around your touch slowly recedes into a pebble. The pebble can be broken to release... Uh, okay, I'm getting very creative here. You can you can touch the fire, and every time you take a free action to touch fire, you can use an action to cast the Firebolt spell. Yeah, Firebolt's great. Burn. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. See, see, I could have burnt the town down. I could have done it. I could have ruined their camp. You, you said I didn't have fire. I have fire. <laughs> Okay, um, we may end up having these things carry through to the next session because you guys have been, like, specifically avoiding combat. Um, so, unless that changes right now, which it could, uh, we'll, we'll say that it will... All the goods and the deck pull will carry into next session if we don't Sweet. end up reasonably, like, running into them this session. Um, yeah. So... With that said, we're we're gonna we're looking at another twenty minutes or so. I, I did mention it at the beginning, but I'll say it again for anybody who wasn't there at the beginning. We're doing a little bit shorter than normal session tonight because folks have yes. New Year's stuff going on. So um, we're going another twenty minutes or so, as close as I can get it to on the mark of ten o'clock central. Um, okay, got all that taken care of. Ulta has been doing ropes. And you're now, like, in a holding pattern with Nessim up here on the uh, watch post. You guys down here, we had um, 
Juno, roll a strength check to try and break the rope. You failed that check. These ropes are, are knotted pretty well, and you were not able to break through. Um, what else are you three going to try to do? If I'm seeing them struggling, I guess, like, Astro can't just walk out there as a spider. It's going to scare everybody, including the prisoners. So Look, everything's gonna... already on fire. They're scared enough. Just do it. I... Mm, well, I mean, what is what is the spider gonna do to untie ropes? Chew at it, Arr. poke it with a leg. <laughs> You've got little fingers, right? No, <laughs> they've got little. Their their most front it's legs fine. actually it's have fine. little have hands second, on them. I that have, can, oh, I don't like that. Second, Stop I have a second wild shape. If I really have to go back into it, it's fine. That's what resources are for. We gotta use them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, she's just gonna. Yeah, drop that and stealth on up and try to help untie things. Same, like, you know, finger over the mouth thing. Um, As a spider? And... No, 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 no. Uh, she's going to drop that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> she's not going to be a spider. Just imagine this giant spider. Ain't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh going. God. No, no. Um... <laughs> But yeah, she's just yeah, she's just gonna try to cut through the rope with her scimitar, I guess. Just like try to hurry this along, get them out, and get out, speed addle. Okay, um, you are you are you doing another like break the bonds or try to untie the bonds? Um, I sorry guess, if like, I missed that. If you're if if I'm cutting with a scimitar, I guess it would be a break. Oh, okay, yeah. So make uh, with a scimitar, make an attack roll against the ropes. Okay. Better than me. How do I do that? Oh, actions, probably. There it is. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the oh yeah. Oh, so 18. one one clean cut. Um, Ooh, max damage. Breaks breaks them off of the pole, and you'd be able to see at this point like it breaks them off of the pole, but they're also tied together. So while all five people are separated from the pole, they are now still tied to each other. You've done one clean cut to separate them from the pole. Um, you know what? And the, the half elf is going to tell you guys, I don't think you could have come a moment later. Who are you? Oh no. They we need a team name. Me. Oh my God. We, oh, no. Why do we not have this yet? <laughs> The Tina cat. I, I will. Nope. Okay. As a little bit of inspiration, my other game that uh, that I run is they have lovingly named themselves the Ragtag Bunch of Idiots, a.k.a. the RT Boys. I figured Niffer would at least like that a little bit. Uh, my response to that is just going to be, better watch your heads. Went for a long walk today. Raining coconuts. <laughs> And then I'm going to attempt to, like, start untying hands. Like, just helping them, like, just at least get untied so we at least have, like, two smaller groups yeah. or something like that so they're but, not yeah. all together um, still. Raining like, coconuts. Maybe, I think raining coconuts. Maybe, raining maybe coconuts. introductions later. Desim, Desim sent us. Just, I, hope. <laughs> I probably would just, by default, answer with our surname because most of this party has that surname. That's fair. <laughs> Um, at this point, Ulta, Nesim has been, like, very intently watching. And as if he's he's just, like, almost as if he's caught a signal. Oh, he's no, just going to he say, is. yep, time to go. And he's just going to leap from the tower and, like, catch his feet right on the edge of the cliff and extremely gracefully slide down the side of the cliff, leaving barely a trail of dust behind him. And you'll see monks. him start to dart this way. Yeah, hashtag monk shit. Fucking monks. Dope monks. I'm still shit. so afraid that this is our dreadnought and he's gonna come murder us. Charge in really and just beat the shit one. out of us. Paranoia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If, if I see him do that, I'm going to mutter under my breath, motherfucker. <laughs> and then I'm going to tug on the rope and start repelling backwards down. Okay. Um, acrobatics check DC is 5 extremely low I don't think you can even fail that okay yeah. one 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 <laughs> so 
I fell, you should too. <laughs> oh yeah, all these guys are like long gone ish that way. Oop, these guys too. So nobody was within like a reasonable eye shot of you, for sure. Um There's no wolf, it's probably a Drake. HP. <laughs> So these guys, uh, you three down here are gonna see, you'd recognize him as Nesim. He's running up to basically help you with untying Whoa. these guys. Can I just take the hand axe cause it's strength based and I'm our beefy boy? I mean, I have two. Marry say, me, say oh again? wait, you did. I, can I just take the hand axe and just like do all the cuts cause I have stronger strength than anyone? Oh yeah, at, the, at this point with like sneaking not being necessary anymore and you know. you're skilled enough with, you know, being level four oh. characters, you don't need to do checks to like, oh, you cut okay. his hand off. Like, no, yeah, <laughs> you, you get the- Just <laughs> trying to be efficient here. Can yeah. I tiptoe into the cave? Why? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can. Tiptoe oh, chaos. My. I'm trying to get that to that dreadnought transition. Oh, <laughs> it what? is 15 minutes until we need to go. Bad. What a cliffhanger! It'll Gross be. and bad. The cliffhanger! <laughs> I see what you did there. Mm. Oh. <laughs> that will also go down under bad yeah, poetry you, you, for the you night. Get bad poetry. I get bad jokes. Play. <laughs> okay. Um. So, Leosin and Nessim. Wow. I've only had like two name brain farts tonight. I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, Lysol and Nissan. Yeah, Those are their brand Nessim's names. gonna help out with his bindings and say, I hope it was worth it, Master. You had me worried. Uh, and Leosin will just give like this beaten up, like his half his face is all swollen up. So he'll, he'll give a, a, a smirk and say, Tales I have to tell now. Um, and I think that is actually where we should finish for tonight. Okay. So. All right. Icarus is heading toward the cave. Um, actually, I will say that Nessim is going to offer that he will help wait out the, the raiding folks leaving and then take... Leosin back to Greenest because he sees that at least Icarus is heading toward the cave. So we, we'll probably figure out, like, off camera, offline, um, how you guys want to let that happen, if you want to let that happen, or if you're going to do other things. Um, and we'll come, we'll come back to that point in two weeks. Um, I will also say, last HP, I did not want to just throw a cheap random thing for Dreadnought to happen. So Very tune in true. in two weeks. Um, because... <laughs> We're about to get our shit wrecked. Because we before we do outros, here. Icarus, you're going to get to the cave no. entrance. I knew it. I knew this and was going to happen. As you lean your ear in and peer into the mouth, you're going to hear a deep... <sighs> And before we cut, you are also going to hear where it goes. I don't know. Probably under all that snow. <laughs> Esther, who are you? Right How here. can we find you? He's all here. <laughs> <laughs> where it goes, I don't know. Probably under all that snow. I just uh -huh. fell all the way out of my chair. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Someone I'm just gonna say like a, a mini prayer under my breath, is. like light guide Please. me. Like Jesus, we're <laughs> is the clip contest still going? Because I submit that. <laughs> it's just gonna be like, oh, we're screwed. But like. <laughs> Right. For for all of our new friends, a different <laughs> show has this wonderful creature called Old Bitey who has incented some very divided opinions. I'm I'm going I am 150% not okay. at this HP. I am not okay. I'm so scared now. <laughs> Is that going to be worse. a bald and bearded I dragon? Like I know what's going to happen and that made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> all right.
right, we're out of here. Aster, who are so you? Scared. Where can we find you? Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Sir Heckalite, you know. And um, this this has been a night, for sure. Um, I played Aster, the Wild Hunt Shifter Druid. And you can find me on pretty much any social media as Sir Heckalot, um, on Twitter and on Instagram and all of that. I'll hopefully be posting more to Instagram because so far there's only one post of my cat, <laughs> but hopefully that'll be happening soon. You can also find me as Sir Heckalot on our wonderful Discord, which I'm about to link in chat. Definitely yeah. join. There's a bunch of fun people. It's a great community. So if you're new to chat and want more people to talk to like us, definitely do it. Um, There's a lot of tricks there right me, now. As well as Corn Dog now on a Total Party Recap on Sunday. It is the recap show for all of uh, our week's uh, shows and goings on in the community. So definitely check it out. Uh, Sunday is every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, keep around. And uh, I think that's all I've got. So, moving on. Niffer! Hi. I am afraid. I mean, I am Niffer. <laughs> um, yeah, I am in two other shows. Uh, I'm in a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday whole stretch of games here on TPK. Uh, tomorrow is the game where we're supposed to have Old Bitey. Not here. Uh, so come watch us out in Rhyme of the Frost Maiden tomorrow. Happy New Year's. I have no words in my head. No words. Only panic. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Hyacinth, go ahead. Um, I'm Hyacinth playing Icarus. You can catch me every other wednesday playing my new and upcoming superhero character in singularity Ooh. um basically every other weekend not not these weeks but the other week so like you can catch me every week and then once a month playing dr grayson in the sherlock investigations very fun they're all fun just come over every day you know um so yeah have a good holiday everyone stick around corn dog all right everyone i'm corn dog i'm here wednesdays and Thursdays every other week, so two weeks from now, you know. Um, and don't contaminate seagull poo with your gross head. Green Earth policy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> oh, choice poems all night. Awesome. Yeah, that was good. That was very good. All right, Chrissy, what's up? Yeah, so hi, guys. Uh, I'm Chrissy. I played Ulta tonight, the Cobalt Swarmkeeper Ranger, and um, you can find me all over the TVK Discord. Um, I know Sir Heck will probably be um, linking the schedule in chat as well pretty soon here, but we got a ton of really awesome stuff. The big thing that I want to mention, and I'm going to do it on Niffer's behalf, because she was so overtaken by... You are absolutely fear. right. Oh we have God. a big, huge game coming up on the 8th in the morning. Um, well, it's daytime. It's a daytime it's game, the but it is... Oh, the 9th. I'm sorry. It's the 9th. Saturday the 9th. Saturday the 9th. Um, and it is for Jasper's game day. Ooh. So if you, it is a charity game. So we will have a ton of really fun little things happening throughout the game. Um, I'm pretty is, excited for that. It so. is chaos in space. Here is a little sneak peek. The crew has decided to name their ship the Macaroni. So, come see us. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be good. Yes, More of yes. that. Um, so, we'll have that coming up. And then, you know, you'll see me in, in some different games. But check out our schedule. Come join us in Discord. Um, and thanks for stopping by. All right. And I'm that Magic Juice. I am the obviously the DM of this group. I run one other game currently on uh, my... Last HP. I love how much you're loving this right now. I'm He's glad. Losing I'm glad mind. that the hype is real because now I got two weeks prep with this, uh, and it's gonna be good. I can't even. Um, I run. I run one other long-term campaign on my own channel, which is just my my name, which you've seen in chat. Um, but I will also be doing other things with PPK in the coming weeks. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that because I don't want to uh, announce anything that hasn't been officially announced yet. Intent, wink, wink. 
Uh, so crazy things are coming. If nothing else, you can catch this exact crew here again two weeks from today for um, the big old bitey teaser that we just big did. Big old bitey. <laughs> um, <laughs> And, and of course, our, our stuff is always going out on YouTube. You can check out the YouTube. All of our social media is in the links below. Everything 